Hey, what's up, guys? Fresh Fit Podcast. We are here with the roommates. Yeah. Here. What's going on, baby? We're, we're, up, we're late, but it's a bunch of niggas. What'd you expect? <laughs> 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 Hey, what's up, All guys? Right. Welcome to Fresh Rip Podcast, man. Sorry for the delay, guys. We had a lot of things going on. Uh, we just spoke with the roommates a little bit ago. Uh, we did a great interview. Uh, that yeah. thing was long, right? Was Two hours. hours. Yeah, it was, it was lit. Though. It, was good. it was a good show. It was well, a, a good, uh, a good podcast. podcast. And um, so, guys, quick announcements. All right, patreoncom slash Fresh Rip, guys, where you can get all the exclusive behind-the-scenes content of me kicking out, kicking out annoying girls. You get in on the Zoom calls. And we answer every stuff. question on the uh, Patreon yep. every single day. A lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff that goes on with the with Fresh's vlog that he can't put on YouTube goes on there as well. Yep. So <laughs> go ahead, get on Patreon, guys. Patreon.com slash FreshFit. Also, guys, beginning of the month, for all new patrons, understand this. You're going to get charged on the first of the month. So it's better to sign up now, earlier in the month, than to sign up later. Because if you get a double charge, you know, you join in at, let's say, a $20 tier, then they charge you another $20. I don't want you guys complaining to me, oh, bro, you owe me 40 bucks. Like, you charge me $20. <laughs> no, 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 no. All this other shit. Like, listen, Stupid. I'm telling you now, you know, get in while you can, while it's early so you don't get double charge. Yep. Uh, other thing, we're on Spotify, guys, Google po- uh, Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. Yep. Every single platform, listen to us there. Also, Cl- Twitch channel. Twitch. Yep. And then Twitch as well. So shout out to all my Twitch gang in the chat. We see y'all. Yep. Shout out to the Twitch gang. Bam. Um, and yeah, guys, also, just so you guys know, uh, we got Trey behind the ones and twos today. Chris, Chris is on uh, vacation. He's on vacation right now. He's uh, doing some things. Uh, <laughs> things, things, things. Uh, some things. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, man, it is what it is, guys. So yeah, it's with Trey. So bear with us. Um, you know, we got we got uh, Trey. Pastor Trey, yo, you want to say what's up to the people, bro? Cam Ray? Yo, what's good, everybody? This nigga, man. You always got to lick his lips and stuff right before. Um, Yo, let's get everybody. It. He's a bot, man. He's a bot. Yeah, man. So uh, I think you guys, today Geezer, we're going to talk about, that we're going to talk about a couple of things uh, today, guys. We got a good show for you guys, but yep. uh, cool special guests in the house, man. The Yo. fucking roommates. Hey, man. What's going on? Welcome baby? back, brothers. Yeah. Good to be back. How y'all enjoying Miami? Uh, yeah. How you guys enjoying Miami besides the crazy Airbnb crap going on? <laughs> Always good to come back to Miami. Brings back a lot of wonderful memories for me. Mm, yeah. uh, you know, can't complain out here. Always beautiful people, beautiful vibes. So I love it. Yeah. I second it. <laughs> we, we haven't done much. We yeah. came here, we recorded. And we leaving in the morning. So yeah, that's so. crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Any any new projects or anything coming up? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I've been working on, I haven't been working on this, but... Um, have a masculinity course that i'm going to be launching nice my goal is to launch it by the end of this month i was supposed to launch it last month Mm -hmm. and the the goal is that i know a lot of times we talk about the masculine avatar stuff you know in regards to you know having the money you know having the clothes having the cars a home you know the the fitness fit body you know the fresh cut all these things but more than the 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 avatar it's the mindset. mindset You know, yep. the mindset is what it's 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 really um what helps people win. And and for me, it was always something in which I thought it was I'm rambling now, but I'll wrap no, it up. No, go but I thought it was always dope how um Jorel uploaded his consciousness and he was able to impart so much wisdom to Kalo, which is Superman, if you're not familiar with superhero universe. Yeah. Upload some of his of his consciousness to Kal El by teaching him exactly what does it mean to be who he is. And I feel like that's the job of a lot of, of a father. A father is to upload his consciousness, his knowledge of life and humanity to his children. But a lot of men don't have that. So they, they're lost and they're confused. And so I'm trying to make sure that masculinity courts is something that, you know, if I had a son and, and Lord, hopefully this doesn't happen, but if I pass away uh, information and knowledge that he can use to become the man that God created him to be, as well as all the other men around the world who don't have fathers, they can be able to use that information to become the man that God created him to be. So I'm working on that right now. Hopefully I'll have that done and just whatever tools and resources we can create to help men become the best version of themselves. That's what we're all about. That's right, man. Like, there you go. 
That's what it's about, man. You, you guys ask me where the girls are. Guys, <laughs> today is a serious topic. We're discussing a uh, little loaded, a uh, passed away, what happened. And sometimes just get to have the bros in town, you know, talk about stuff because, yeah, as you know, Drake, we also, can you hear camera one? We have girls every single night. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. So yeah, fellas, uh, girls, n- not tonight because we're leaving tomorrow for Vegas. Yeah. We'll, we'll be back on Monday. Yeah. For that late. We, we had some girls lined up, bro, but like, guys, like, I'd rather do a show like this that's more important because I don't really want to talk about a topic like this with women in because nah. it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not going to work. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to keep it 100% on this, and we don't want women to intrude on that. I get it that you guys want girls and all this other stuff, but, bro, sometimes, <laughs> you know, it's better to not have women around. I know that's crazy to sound. It sounds wild. Yeah. But, you know. Bro, that's all they want. Buddy said, but girls later, right? Yeah. It's ridiculous around here, yeah, it's, it's, it's wild, and this is I feel like this is where they find their girls. Like, this is how they get their girls. It's, it's y'all. Yeah. yeah, facts. I ain't even could be sending them DMs after the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we like we've seen in the comments, but then we get the little background on the chick. Like, oh, oh we, this guy was we see shit. y'all. Yeah. We see y'all. We see y'all niggas simping, man. You know so, what I'm saying? It's pretty funny though. Super chats. Uh, yeah. Let's hit some of these super chats. Uh, okay. So we got uh, Kazanari, twenty super sticker. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> will of D, love the content, lads. I can see the will of D lives and breathes. One piece. Okay. And then Bitcoin, no! Bobby. That, was a, <laughs> I don't know that, was. <laughs> that shit is trash, bro. It's all about Dragon Ball Z. Another epic podcast. Kakarot. Love the preference versus discrimination <laughs> argument, guys. Absolutely. And shout out to the roommates. They, I heard it from them first. Guys, every... Oh, go back. Bitcoin Bobby. Uh, every young male should be following all the men on this podcast. Thank you so you much, go. Bitcoin Bobby. Facts. And then we got... Uh, 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 Kazanari again. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yep, right there. Uh, Kazanari, just wanted to correct myself from my first chat. I found you guys because of Danny Banks. I also overlooked y'all at first, but have been tuned in on all last month, and I support you guys like crazy. That's Thanks. funny, That's man. That's an orthodox way to find us. Yeah. But I appreciate that, man. Thanks, man. Not sure if it's a guy or a girl, but I'm going to assume it's a guy yeah. for following Danny Banks. Uh, and cool. I think we're caught up on the Super Chats. Oh. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah, so I'm from the beginning. Okay. Oh, okay. We need the we roommates got, on another uh, after hour show uh, on Juan or Brar. Mo um, Merzel, five bucks. Shout out to the best podcast on earth. Shout Thank out to you Mo. so much. Shout out to Mo. Alleged uh, by uh, Brian. Is this is a crossover of the two best podcasts. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is, my friend. <laughs> on a bra. Yeah, we need more roommates on another after our show. And beats by SI, 22 bucks. <laughs> Some short Some hair. Sure fitness girl came at you, Myron. Absolutely. She did. R- real quick, because I already know I'm going to get questions on this, guys. I'm just going to give you guys the cliff notes. I told a girl, yo, let's collab. She's like, oh, I'm going to come out to Miami. I was like, when can you be here? She's like, oh, uh, next week. I was like, all right, cool. Just so you know, uh, I don't do platonic th- platonic uh, relationships or whatever it may be. And she's like, what? And I was like, yeah, like, we're good. We're, this is how I do it. I'm like, no pressure. And then she, like, decided to, like, try to put me on blast and put screenshots of our conversation on her shit. And she blurted out my name. And then she sent me a DM saying, like, you should probably rethink how you talk to women, blah, 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 trying to shame me and say, like, I can expose you. I, she's like, I'll expose you. I was like, do it, bitch. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Like, you don't know who you're talking to. And she puts out my name there. And then I literally took that that thing that she reposted and reshared the story. And I said, I love it when 304 thing that they can expose you. Like, I'm the same dude on camera that I am off camera. Like, it don't, it don't change. Like, I'm not hanging out with you just to hang out. Like, nah. Like, that's just not how this goes. She thought she was going to get a free trip and hang out and not fuck. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? Nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it don't work that way. And you if you want to some. See- See what happened on Instagram. <laughs> Go follow Myron. I'll plug Fit Two Ts. Yeah, on Instagram. you guys, you guys can see it. Like I, like you, you mm-hmm. can't. The thing is this, bro. Like chicks think like, oh, I'm gonna shame you. I'm gonna come after you. Blah blah blah. What she doesn't realize is I'm not no fitness industry nigga, bro. Like mm-hmm. I, I talk shit and I back it up with what I do. I am who I am. I'm congruent all the time. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to King Von. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't like it, she could have just kept it pushing and you know left. But what she do? I'm gonna expose you. You don't know who you're talking to. Do hey, it. You know the worst part about it? Some guys' lives could have been ruined from that. Like, yep. Let's say his life depended on his brand, and that was kind of like their Fact. niche. Fact. Like, she could have really messed, messed yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah. And she made threats like, oh, I- I'm going to, like, I'll make you look bad. It'll be bad for your business. I said, do it. I'll I'll, 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 mm. share, I'll help you. You know what I'm saying? So I reposted <laughs> her stuff, and then she blocked me because she was like, oh, okay, this dude, I can't hurt him by trying to Wait a minute. embarrass him. Like, What's her Instagram again? It's, it goes something like, Anaquin Fitness. Oh, there you go. Uh, Anaquin oh. Fitness. Y'all yeah, want to roast her? I don't care. Uh, no, no, I, yeah. I, I, thought oh, women, no. I thought women wanted, wanted honesty. Yeah, I thought women wanted, wanted the like, truth yeah. from up front. I was like, I was like, we're gonna smash. She didn't like that. She tried to be like, oh well, that's your asshole move. Okay, you want me to lie to you and then like try to be on I this? Like I've seen this girl you, you probably yeah. should have finessed. If you would have finessed, <laughs> you've been good. 
But yeah. then you 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 in the bad yeah, guy. Yeah. You can't win, brother. You can't, she messed you up. Can't she win. messed up. Yeah, because if you don't tell the truth, oh my god, here's why I'm in for sex. You but let if I do me tell on. the truth, you're yeah. a jerk. And it's like, nah, bro. Like she wanted to smoke. Okay. I'm now. Now you got to deal with with that. Now you got to get embarrassed and look stupid hey, and all this other shit. Someone put her in, her Instagram in the chat. <laughs> I'm, Can we see her Instagram real quick? It might have been me. Oh, oh damn! Oh, you want to pull it up? I would love to see her Instagram. Nah, I'll be honest I, with you. I, 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 don't, I don't even want to give her that. Oh, I, I, I thought that was sure. fresh and fit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. you know what? Because I'm going to do a privacy complaint. That's what she's oh, going to do. Oh, yeah. We don't oh, want yeah. to yeah. no part of that. She's going to do a privacy complaint. Damn it. Oh, well. We live. We do it live, baby. We live, man. Real nigga time. All right. She got spirit by YouTube. LA Woods. Woods. 20 bucks. Why don't women understand that this channel is meant for men? Exactly. LOL. Yeah, we keep it real, bro. And squared Mike, 20 bucks. Hafiz, you want, you want to read this one? A masculine course is just what I need, Hafiz. My parents divorced when I was a teenager and I was raised by my mom. My dad is a couch potato anyway. I had no clue what um, how to be a man and that would help so much. Thank you. There you go, That's man. What's up, man. So go follow Hafiz and uh, Chris. Don't on follow there. me on Instagram, though. <laughs> Lord Jesus. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Lord. Boy, Hafiz, um, funny, man. Yeah, so yeah, guys, it is what it is. She has a nice ass. That's the only reason I, because yo, know, she smashed a bunch of dudes, bro. So I was like, hold on one second. Hold up. <laughs> it has, is she a girl that's on thumbnails sometimes f- from certain creators? I don't know. I have to see this girl. Can I see? Can, can I see something? She got me blocked, so I don't know. Uh, I look right now because she tagged me this morning. I'm like, <laughs> she tagged you this morning, like, bitch. Who are you? Yeah, this this Thursday morning. <laughs> yeah, because. She wanna she wanna like, put a point to Myron. Yeah, she tried to like uh, like I said, bro. She tried to embarrass me and it backfired. Like, all right, here we cool. go. Now you're gonna all look right, dumb. all right, all you know right. And she smashed a couple of people that I know, and she yes. out here trying to act like she's like special. What? I'm like, bro, you're a That's three old girl. Yeah, like, she's on. <laughs> oh, you know her? Not know her, know her, but let me let me show Listen, you. Listen, man. <laughs> Now, now, now you better get that exposed, ho. Oh, that man. Boy, oh, shit. That boy, man. We all get a privacy she, complaint. Yo, she's nah, she, up on Patreon. Yo, she's like, this podcast is so mean and it's boring. I'm like, she's like, oh, well, you know, I never watched it. But yeah, damn bitch, you never watched because it's not for you. Yeah, yeah and, and and it's mean only when now I, I fired back. Yo, you, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Like he used it for a, a bunch of thumbnails? Oh, shit. Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Hey, and brother Mario, you got a type, don't you? Uh-huh. Huh? Huh? Oh. No, she got a nice like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a type. Well, she's not like. Well, that's why I was like. Like, here's the thing: the less I care, <laughs> the less I try. Okay. So, like, when it's like girls like that that are like right on the edge, I'm 100 percent direct. Like, got I got you, got you, got no you. game. Like, you got a nice ass, but that's about it. You got a short haircut. Like, all right, are we smashing or not? You're a misogynist. All right, cool. On to the next. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, got you. the less I'm attracted to her, the less effort I put in. Okay, enough about her. Okay, all yeah. right. so let's get into the topic at hand. Little Loaded passed away. Yes. So everyone's talking about it right now. It's the total crazy and buzz. So let's yes. pull up his uh, Wikipedia real quick so people know who he is. He's a, he's a rapper. Um, definitely had a lot of uh, talent. Very young guy, 20 years old. And um, yeah, let's see. Is that the right on. tab, uh, Trey? Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, he was putting it up. <laughs> hey, I was ready, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was ready. You gotta be ready at all times. Okay. There you go, there you go. Uh, all right, so uh, Little we, Loaded. En- enlarge that a bit because I am blind as hell. Okay. Oh, I got my glasses, though. Yeah, just hit Control Plus. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This uh, Trey's first time at, first time doing this. He's so. doing a pretty good job. We got Lil Loaded, Deshaun Maurice Robertson, 2000 or 2001. God dang. Known as Lil Loaded, was an American rapper from Dallas. He was a fame in the mid-2019 after his song Six Glock Baby went viral. You want to read this part, Career? Yeah. Uh, Robertson started rapping in late 2018. His first song was B.O.S., a take on YMW Melly's yeah, Melly's song, Butter Pink. I thought that was Nelly for a second. I was going to say, what? <laughs> if you want to go and take a run. No, never mind. <laughs> uh, he wrote the promise in 2019 when YouTube uh, YouTuber Tommy Craze included his song S- Glock Baby in a reaction video in which he watched YouTube music videos with zero views. Uh, Glock Baby was certified gold in May 2021, by which point it had received over 20 million, 28 million views on YouTube. Robertson later released Gang Unit, which had garnered more than 39 million views YouTube views on by May 2021. So yeah, guys, this guy obviously yeah. has quite a bit of uh, fame, right, with the music industry. He blew up with YouTube and social media, which like a lot of rappers do nowadays. So, you know, they become like a lot of rappers now, like have a big social media following or get yeah. their rap career from their big social media following. And very important. There's a part here that he um just uh, just go up a little bit, uh, Trey, his legal issues. So. On October 25th, 2020, Robertson allegedly shot and killed a friend, 18-year-old Khalil Walker, while recording a music video. 
Robinson turned himself into the police on November 9th, 2020, after a warrant was issued for his arrest. Oh, damn! He was indicted on a lesser charge of manslaughter in connection with the incident for 2021. God so, dang. Bro, how, yeah. how, if that's how you treat your friends, I don't even want to know how he deals with his enemies. God so, damn. personal life and death. Robinson was found in San Bernito, uh, San Bernito, California. He was in Dallas, Texas. Robinson died, apparently, by suicide by a gunshot wound to the head. On May 31st, which is... Uh, was that yes? 2021. 2021. Yeah, like a couple days ago. So yeah, um, that's that's crazy. At the age man. of 20. That's so crazy. um, yeah, and and just for YouTube purposes, guys, we're gonna call it ooze. 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 Yeah, we could just call it the ooze. And then we, so, have, we have another. Um, well, actually, you know what? Before we even get there, what do you guys think think so far with, about this uh, individual? Yeah, I mean, for me, I this is really touchy. You know, personally, this individual just passed away, mm -hmm. and you know. Shout out to the the girl Candace Owens, but I'm not trying to you know talk about someone's personal life um, who just passed away yeah. in that kind of manner because I just think it's just it's just not wise at this current time. So him as a human being, I I, I don't I have no judgment. I I honestly have not heard of him about him until a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. So in regards to him as a person, I I have no personal judgment or no nothing to say about him to okay. be honest. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, I I think it's sad, man. You know, I think it's sad yeah. um, you know, it's an unfortunate situation that happened and you know, you hate to see any human really lose their life um in that manner. So it's just, you know, it's just tough to see, you know, and, and especially for somebody so young. Yeah. You know, yeah. and and we're in this space, you know, for reasons, mm -hmm. you know, cuz we care about men and we want to help. So, you know, I mean, I'm not taking responsibility for it, but I just know it's just if he had the right friends or the right men in his life or this or that, maybe that could have been avoided. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's some certain things is just, you know, it's tough to see. And, and you know, it yeah. weighed heavy on me. Because honestly, man, like he's young and a whole incident with the, um you know, gun and his friend dying. I don't think he did on purpose. If he's, if he's that, that young, bro. Who, I mean, who knows? I don't know. But like from from what I just saw, um. Trey, if you can pull it up, I believe it. It said that yeah, it was misfire, during. Right? Or... You, excuse me. Yeah, yeah I saw. Said so somebody said it was a yeah, misfire. Said, yeah, I yeah, that was his friend. That was yeah, his friend. it was an accident. Yeah, yeah, because so, yeah, yeah. it, it said it was on set at a music video, right. yeah. and he got involuntary manslaughter. So I'm assuming that it was a video. The gun and, just went off. Yeah, and the gun just went off in the yeah. video. But yeah. just think about that, and it compound what we're gonna talk about right now as well. Yeah, because he's very young, so like, yeah. it's a lot to handle. So, um, is, uh, guys in the chat saying uh, deleted yourself. I think that's a, that's a good one. Shout out to our boy CJ, by the way, Coach Greg go. Adams. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, when when I first heard this story, and we're going to talk about it, we're going to react to another person also that deleted himself earlier this week as well. Yeah. Um, guys, it, you know, okay, you know what? I'll I'll reserve my my opinion because I want to get into the other guy as well. Um, and okay. uh, Trey, what's your thoughts on this real quick while I send you this link? Because the other one is is uh, Trey, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, go ahead. What's yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, nah, I was gonna say, um, it it is crazy, man, to think that this happens such a promising career mm -hmm. to have it ended so so abruptly and over some something crazy. I don't know, man. It it kind of says it it definitely helps you put your life into a vacuum and makes you look back at life and look at all the moments, all the family, every every place you kind of been. And helps you more so to savor those moments because you never know when your time will be called, you know, when, when your name is going to be on that list. Yeah. So I yeah. just sent you a link, Trey, uh, in okay. the, in the uh -huh. Miami we, Telegram chat. We got a little bit more to go through uh, oh, for this with, one with here. that one? Okay. Well, yeah. okay. So, uh, uh, Trey, could you pull up the next um, article? Okay. So basically, man, uh, my thoughts are like, look, he was a promising rapper, mm -hmm. blew up. Yep. And um, basically, you know. He's going through a lot. He's 20 years old. Yeah. Lots of shit going on. Lots it's of money, lots of fame, lots of success, a lot of pressure on him. Right. Guys, I'm telling you right now, handling fame at a young age is not easy. Not Almost any. every celebrity that you know that's been a young celebrity and somewhere fashion Man, are on drugs. Up, their mentality's messed up. Like it's not easy to handle fame. You look at, yeah, you look at celebrities that like it's had not. it with, like were rich since they were young. Like look at Robert Downey Jr., bro. Yep. Like, they get all fucked up. So um, we got another uh art there from TMZ. Okay, okay rapper Low Loaded's uh death. Cops got a call about a uh, deletion. Delete. Delete. Mom said he was upset about a breakup. And then uh, scroll down. This is him, guys. Uh, and then uh, this is from TMZ. Uh, Little Loaded's mother is uh, the person who called police after finding him gone from a gunshot to the head. Gunshot uh, to the head. Um, and we've learned she instantly knew what had upset her son. Mother's intuition, right? According to the police report uh, obtained by TMZ, cops in Cedar Hill, Texas, responded Monday morning to a call for an attempted 
deletion. And when they arrived at the home, little Loaded's mom was crying on the front porch and the rapper was gone inside with a, uh, we'll just say, fire limb nearby. Uh, police say LL's mom told them <clears throat> she had to return home to find her son in the second floor hallway. Cops also say she told them he was emotional Sunday night, crying and upset over how much he loved his ex-girlfriend. Damn. Um, and then uh, scroll down some more. Uh, as we report, up and coming rapper deleted over the holiday weekend and his attorney uh, seemed to believe Lil Loaded off himself. The 20-year-old MC also posted an ominous message before his passing. Lil Loaded's post read, in part, Dear Most High, please forgive me for my shortcomings and all the times I fell short of making you proud. He added, I ask for entrance into your kingdom through all of my mistakes. I know you love all your children and I'm ready for my heart and soul to join you. Although his mo mother mentioned that the situation with his ex, Loaded had also recently been charged with manslaughter for a 2020 shooting death and was out on bond. Okay. So, uh, that's man, a lot. yeah, that's, that's tough, man. That's tough. And we got one more thing. We got video here and then we're going to uh, wrap this up. Okay. So, um, but yeah, guys, like things compound on each other and like yeah. he's, he's dealing with a lot, man. So maybe that last the girlfriend was a last straw, you know? Yeah. Who, who knows? Yeah, man. And that's the thing. Like, you know, when you get with great gifts comes great responsibility, right? Yep. Uh, uh, you know, you're getting a lot of money at a young age. You're getting attention from women that never looked your way. You're getting uh, people pulling you in all kinds of directions, trying to like they help money you from manage. You. Yeah, they want money from you. They want it. They try to want it. It's funny how when you start becoming successful, all of a sudden people are consultants. Yo, oh, you should do this. Oh, you should do that. Actually, Yo, I know a guy that does that. Are we like, cousins? Yeah, yeah. your cousin Bobby. Yeah. Yo, you know what? I just my car just broke. No, Bobby, could you yeah. help me out real quick? Yeah. Or, or girls that could have simply just said, hey, uh, I'm not interested and move on. They try to put you on blast with Instagram story. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it is what it is. Like, things change when you start to get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of clout, a little bit of money, whatever it is. So, um, All right. okay. So, play the video, uh, Trey. Okay. So, we're going to uh, show you guys this uh, video here. Hopefully, we're This is a good breakdown of what happened. Shout out to uh, Blackie Speaks. Okay. Shout out to him. Uh, fair use. Fair use. All right. There you go. Uh, the tap might be muted, Trey. Okay. Oh, no, maybe it ain't. No, I think it's just a video. Oh, yeah, you got to hit play. Oh, okay. Let's see. I think that part may just be silent. Oh, it's silent. No, it's definitely sad, oh, man. Okay. What, do you, what do you want me to say? Seeing a lot of these young rappers coming up with so much potential, full of life, full of energy, driven as hell, just for them to a year or two later be gone, breaks my heart, man. Truly does. At this point, though, you've probably heard the news. You've obviously seen Great the title news. of this video. It's been confirmed that Great Dallas news. rapper Lil Loaded has died at the age of 20 years old. On Monday, May 31st, Ashkan Mariari, attorney for the rapper, real name Deshaun Maurice Robertson, confirmed the news to XXL this afternoon. Sadly, the rumors are true, and Mr. Robertson did pass away today, Mariari wrote in a statement. The cause of Lotus death is unclear. Now, I want you to check out this Instagram story right here. It was actually Lil Lotus' last IG story, which has now since then been deleted, but this is what it said. Dear Most High, please forgive me for my shortcomings and all the times I've fell short of making you proud, and I'm being appreciative of the blessings that have been put in my life. Sometimes the lines are blurred between being solid and being heartless. I want to thank you for how far I've come and the people you put in my life to keep me grounded and humble through everything, and I love every single one of those people that are genuinely for me. I ask for entrance into your kingdom through all my mistakes i know you love all your children and i'm ready for my heart and soul to join you Man, that's kind of dark. wow very potent obviously very sad shook me to my core bro as you can tell this sounds like some kind of goodbye letter the guy was clearly going through something man i've been seeing some rumors going around regarding low loaded killing himself because of something that happened in his personal life in this video though i won't really be talking about that it'd be very irresponsible for me to even entertain that theory right now his family is uh, presumably grieving like hell at the moment i don't really want to add any fuel to anything that could simply be a rumor with that being said will i discuss it in the next couple of videos as more information starts to come in probably but for now Let's skip that. Like a lot of people, I found Lou loaded through yeah, my boy Tommy Craze. Yep. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, very. I mean, dude, I got a brother his age. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's extremely uh, painful to see a young guy with with literally like all the potential in the world. Yeah, he was. You know, he was dealing with that manslaughter thing, but he probably would have probably like he's young. Yeah. He probably would have got like beat some. The case. Yeah, he would have, or, or he would have either beat the case, or he would have probably got like some some time off or do the house arrest, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? He could pay, get a good attorney, and you know, fight that. Um, 
But uh, okay, so Trey, do you have the other link? Is that was uh, for for him, right? For Lil B. Yeah, yeah, uh, Lil Loaded. Um, so yeah, let's hit. Um, you said Lil B. Yeah, I said Lil B. All right, so click this link real quick. Oh right. hell no, nah, bro. Yeah, I saw this guy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is is uh, is crazy here, guys. So we're gonna show you another guy that also did the deletion because of a woman. Uh, car community legend S two K underscore Y W A took his own. I guess existence after he found out his girlfriend cheated on him, he asked his supporters to throw a big car meet for him in his memory. And, uh, this guy, the story with this guy was basically, he found out that his girl was, you know, committing some infidelity. They got in a physical altercation where, you know, he did some things that he shouldn't have done. I'm, I'm going to keep you too friendly, but he, you know, he did the, okay. And, uh, then he went on a chase with the police and they basically chased after him. And then he, you know, offed himself and, uh, or deleted himself prior to the police like coming after him or whatever or actually like affecting the arrest so i i guess mm. gentlemen the rp awareness this is far beyond you know understanding girls or dating or getting laid this is about understanding your worth and knowing that no woman is worth doing that to yourself none zero no one is worth doing that to yourself let alone a woman and the thing I need guys to understand, especially for the guys out here that are higher earners, the guys that are successful, the guys that have really made something of themselves, you guys are the prize, man. Not these women. You got a 20-year-old here that had the world in his hands, man. Then you got another guy, had a child, very successful guy, big in the car community, offing himself over a woman, bro. Like, this is why this knowledge is so important. It's not about getting girls and getting laid, guys. It's knowing your worth and knowing that I can walk away and I can replace her. And there is nothing more attractive than a guy that is willing to walk away from a woman. I tell you guys all the time on this podcast, women get in line when you have women in line, right? I say that not just so that you can get girls or maintain attraction, also for your own self-sanity, man. When you know that you can replace your girl, okay? And you have the leverage, which it should always be that way. The man needs to have the leverage in a relationship. That's how attraction works. The woman always needs to feel like she's chasing you, period. That's the only way you're going to satisfy that, that hypergamy tickle, right? When she's chasing after you and she feels like you're the prize, she's putting you on the pedestal, it just works, man. It just works. But it never works the other way around. And the thing is that men chronically undervalue themselves while women chronically overvalue themselves. I'm going to say that again, bro. Men chronically undervalue themselves while women chronically overvalue themselves. And I need you guys to flip the fucking script and start valuing yourselves the same way these bimbos do. Because real talk, a lot of these women themselves while women chronically overvalue. A lot of these women, men, bring nothing to the table outside of sex. Okay? They think, let me just dangle this box, you know what I'm saying, and get him to comply and do his extra shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's shown. This girl, I, a perfect example, try to ex expose me. Oh, I'm going to expose you for trying to bang me. Do it. Because I know that I am who I am, and I don't care what people think. Because I, I respect myself first. I'm not going to put myself in a position to hang out with a girl on the potential of getting bedroom fun. I'm telling her straight up, take it or fucking leave it. That confidence stems from my accomplishments and my competence. And I need all the guys to carry yourself in that same goddamn way. It's not about putting girls in their place on Instagram. It's not about getting laid. It's about knowing your fucking worth, bro. No pussy is worth doing that to yourself. None. Most of these girls bring nothing to the fucking table. You guys have to bring value to the table Auto automatically. If you're fucking with a girl, that's why I tell you guys all the time on this podcast. If a girl doesn't smash you, she's useless. Why? Well, let's break it down. As a man, when you deal with a woman, you have to bring value to the relationship, period. Women are resource extractors and value detectors. Girls don't fuck with you unless you bring something to the table. Men are always loved and or cared for on the condition that they provide value. So I know if you're with a woman and an attractive woman at that, you're bringing way more to the table than she is. Women don't have to bring much to the table. You do. So knowing that and knowing your worth and knowing what you bring to the table, you should never be hurting yourself over some fucking bitch. And I hate to say those words and make it sound like that, but I need guy, I need to this to echo to everyone out there that's listening. Never hurt yourself over a fucking woman, bro. It ain't worth it. Don DeMarco. By the mm. way, if you're on Twitch, you just heard that gospel sermon. Please sub to the channel. Please. Send for rent. Sub to the channel. All y'all niggas in, there, in Twitch. 
also as well um I'll, I'll let y'all chime in i just want to say this right so what happened was sad to both these guys and um what happens is, is, is that like these girls that they um off themselves over what happens is they'll oh they might more for like a day or two and, it, and then and then just go to the next guy i feel like uh if guys understood how women think i kind of understood like okay what is my purpose what's my passion they won't do this like to themselves because think about this if you were to go right she's with you for a reason conditional love is the real thing and you provide us some type of value now if that goes away she could leave you possibly but it's probably going to be a, a, a yes or no so i'll say this if you're with a, a girl right and you love her think about this it's just your turn and no, no, let me explain when i say it's just your turn is because all these girls in today's marketplace they want one thing security and peace of mind for their for themselves you on the other hand have to work on your fitness your your health um also you, you know your money your mindset right and your finances that's very important because that's real here most girls what they say on the show all the time you want an ambitious guy that has their, their shit together and that's what they want to go for so understand that when you deal with uh, women it's going to be probably for a period of time not forever you can't hold on to anybody like they have free, free will and free choice as well so you can't force anybody to stay with you now regarding cheating look guys we know uh how women are we know how men are right things are going to happen you can't control other people's actions and you can't control what they do you're going to control yourself so how you react to what they do is totally up to you now obviously things happen uh there's a builder with, with uh low loaded you know the murder charge whatever you know all the stuff you know stuff going on but at the same time he could have handled that differently if he knew better probably all i'm saying is that if you're in one of these uh, situations or scenarios you have a choice to make either you submit um you know to what's going on and i can you know bend to it or you say you know what i'm still breathing i can move on i can move on from this and do something different because how to put this there's only one you go you only have one life to live here on, on earth and if you're gonna waste it um over some some woman come on bro like think about this if you're gonna be here on earth live your best life one girl messes up whatever cheese whatever bro there's plenty more girls here on planet earth actually there's more girls on earth than men yeah so why are you gonna suffer for one girl that was a piece of, piece of shit anyway when there's a bunch of other girls that you could talk to that are waiting for you so if that, if that ever happens happens to you fellas uh, in the chat or on stream don't take it personal it's just your turn no i i, I hear everything y'all saying man and just sitting here you know thinking about what what's going on you know and and with people you know offering themselves you know it kind of hit me like i would say like a few weeks ago you know with the success of our brand success of our podcast and you know i, I kind of was just like asking myself like man you know, with the, the leadership and the role and the responsibility I have and, you know, trying to teach these guys, you know, I want to make sure not only I'm leading them well, but also understand that there's going to be ebbs and flows and there's going to be some real downtimes and some warnings that you are going to have to, you know, deal with and go through, you know, because we see all the time that, you know, very successful business owners, very successful actors, you know, all these people that have the money, to have the 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 materialistic things, to have the women, to have the lifestyle that we want, they still off themselves. You know, it's it's, it's something that they're still that's still bothering them, mm -hmm. that is still you know eating them up inside. And it's just because you can see the glitz and glamour doesn't mean that these people live in a life that you want to live. Mm -hmm. So when we say, hey, you need to really figure out what's going on inside you and heal yourself, you know, what is the childhood trauma that you have? Or what, what is your relationship with, like with your parents? How does that affect you? How did that, you know, X, Y, and Z, how do all those things really, you know, help you and improve you or, or hinder you? Because if you can get all this stuff and that stuff is still bothering you, still inside, it's only going to come to light eventually. Mm -hmm. It's only going to come out. And if it's not dealt with. So just imagine you reach all the goals and dreams and you get to this life and you're still not satisfied. Damn. Yeah. You're still hurt. No, you still you still lonely. You still feel empty. You can't enjoy what you got. It's like, what's the point of being here? I'm listening to, you know, these guys. I'm listening to Chris tell me, hey, I get this, I get that, I get the life I want. You know? And then when they get when they hit a roadblock and they like, oh my God, this, this is not what I expected, you know, just because I got we would talk about one on, on our podcast, just because you have money, some girls still ain't gonna come at you. You ain't just automatically gonna get girls like that. Facts. You know, 
you can drive whatever, have whatever. You still ain't, it ain't automatic. So it's like, you know, these things where it's it's a huge balance where we feel like that people only focus on what they feel like is going to bring them happiness, which is the the emptiness things and the things that are not really are going to provide value. But you got to understand, it's like you got to really grow as a person and really find your purpose and find a reason why you're here. If you find your reason why you're here, what your legacy can be, everything else is added on. The women is added on. The money is added on. The house, you know, the family, all that stuff is added on because you have a reason why you're living here. Some people are just living here for just material things. Some people are just living here just to bang nines and tears. But they understand that stuff is empty. That -hmm. stuff is not going to last. That stuff doesn't sustain you. Mm -hmm. And when eventually that runs out, you're going to be left like with all these things where where you feel like you're supposed to have, all the women that you smashed, all the money that you have, and you still feel empty. We see examples like that all the time. So when we say work on yourself, when we say, hey, you might need to go to therapy. Hey, when you need to really attack the inner things and find out why are you here? Mm -hmm. How can you leave an impact? How can you leave a legacy? That is what's going to carry you through the hard times because they're going to come. It's life is ebbs and flows. They're going to come. You need to have the why to push you through these things. Mm -hmm. You know, I, what happened to, to to bro is it's sad, you know, with the with the you know, with the happen at the music video, with the breakup, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, when when life it's just when life is gonna storm on you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have been through storms, it's been through hurricanes, you know, and, and the reasons why, you know, what I want to do and leave an impact on this world, that's what kept me going. You know, I get I mean I had a point a long time where I was like, man, I understand why people off themselves. I get it. I get it. I experience success. I experience women. I experience material things. I experience all these things. I understand. It's empty still. But if you don't know your legacy, you don't know your reason why, you don't know your purpose, it's going to be hard to push through. And these guys got to understand that. They got to realize that. Or it's going to be more stories like that. And, you know, it's sad, man, honestly. Yeah, that's real. Damn. Man. Uh, Hafiz? Um, you know, you asked me initially, I think at the beginning, what were my thoughts? upon about the young man and i think i wasn't i wasn't responding in regards to my thoughts about the the um deletion i was responding about him as a person Mm -hmm. but if you're asking me um uh, in regards to what happened afterwards you know first things first i i have a lot of i have a lot of just intellectual inadequacies sometimes and one of the big things for me is that i just try not to i don't i'll try not to assume when i don't know Mm -hmm. yeah you know like at the the narrative is that he did this because of that yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know with the first guy i don't know with the second guy i don't know why they did what they did um i think um may was mental health awareness month for those who were not aware of that and um I think it was four four years ago we did a film mm-hmm. on mental health in 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 the lives of young men um and it was released in May as well and so you know this this the situation of you know a person losing their life initially to me is is something in which you know unfortunately a lot of children in the chat room who are, who are just not mature to have this conversation because it's 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 somebody's life, you know. It's this is this is this is not like I said. I, I just don't. It's hard for me to um, talk about an individual, um, especially one who's recently passed away. It's just it's just to me, it's just like kind of like tampering with a dead body on the floor. It's just kind of um, feels disrespectful to me. So yeah. I don't I don't want to talk about the person at all. I don't want to talk about. I don't know why. What was the leading cause yeah. of why they passed away? I'm not going to make any assumptions. That's just my, that's just how I, my brain works um, in regards to that. But in regards to what we're talking about, I think there there is a lot of conversation about the evils that men do to themselves and do to other people because of their lack of identity, um, because of their lack of um, health. And, it, and a lot of times what will trigger it is women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know, like men got to understand that if if inside every man is a, a fire demon, 
you know, a lot of women are a mountain of, you know, gunpowder. And if you do not address that demon inside of you, you connect that fire demon with that mountain of gunpowder, it's going to be explosions. Yeah. Um, so I think Chris, I don't want to, I don't want to ramble too much because I think Chris expressed a lot of it that we, I, I just, I've gotten to a point where I just don't even care about doing some of the content that I do. I'm be honest with you, I'm at, a, I'm at a tough place in life. Mm -hmm. I just don't even care about it anymore. I just, I just, I'm losing my interest in even doing videos. Sometimes it's hard. Last couple of videos I posted, my individual videos, they've been old videos. I have, I had nothing to say because so many men think it's about women. Mm hmm. They think it's a. They think this conversation is about women. They think what you guys do is about women. What you guys do, what Chris does, they they think it's only about women. Like all they care about in the comments, women, this girl's this, how she look. Yeah. Da, 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 da. It it to me, it's it it transcends frustration because life and death <laughs> is so much deeper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you're not, when you're an individual, and you're suffering on the inside. You know, there's deeper issues. We tell men leveling up physically, financially, but also spiritually and emotionally, you know, and that's a component of emotional health that we're always striving to tell men to do. Because I know that if you're suffering in the silence, mm. I know that you getting a girl is the worst thing possible. Yeah, facts. I mean, I mean, it's 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 a serious conversation. It's probably going to be the worst thing possible that if a guy who's suffering mm. gets a girl, because there's two kind of guys who suffer. You know, there's a guys who suffer and they explode, meaning that they take their anger onto others, and there's guys who suffer and they implode, mm. which means that they take their anger onto themselves. Yep. And so, to me, I think it's important that every single man be to realize that major component of if you do not deal with this inner demons, if you do not deal with this inner pain, the hurt, the, 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 the stress, the traumas, the anxiety, the frustrations, yo, that girl will, will destroy you. Well, not, I don't want to say she will destroy you. You and her will destroy yourself. It will be a team effort that's going to lead to the destruction of your life. And you see so so many of it. So many guys are in prison right now. M murder. Who did they murder? I mean, if we if we if we look up, I think I I could be wrong. So I'm not saying this is number one, but one of the leading um, individuals who one of the leading reasons that women die is because of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. You know, guys got to realize that's what happens to unfortunately so many men. So many men who are gonna. Um, you know, delete themselves. You, you look back to the story, there's going to be a, a woman involved. So there's just so many layers to this conversation uh, and we'll hopefully be able to unpack a lot of them. But yeah. I want the guys to understand that inside your heart, if it has not healed, if you have not done the work, mm -hmm. it is a fire demon. You're going to meet a woman and because you're unhealthy yourself. Here's the key. Because you're an unhealthy man yourself, you will guarantee 99 times out of 100 pick an unhealthy woman mm. who is going to be a mountain of gunpowder. You take the fire demon, you take the mountain of gunpowder, and that's going to be the destruction of your life. So I just, like I said, I hope men understand that this conversation transcends any individual person. It transcends any individual gender. But this is seriously an important conversation about the well-being of men. And if you don't take care of yourself, men, and you want to just simply taste women, there's repercussions that, unfortunately, I don't want anybody to see. Yeah, that's, uh, that's deep, man. I, I don't want to say this, guys. Obviously, now you guys know why we didn't want women in this conversation, yep. you know, because I knew it was going to take this turn. And the other thing, too, guys, is, you know, obviously we had some fun earlier, you know, making jokes, whatever. Don't harass uh, that chick, bro, because the thing is, I want to make sure that this video stays up because I want you guys to send this video to any friend of yours that's going through this. Because I'm going to say this. Some people might look at these two guys and say, oh, these guys are imps. imps. You know what I'm saying? Or these guys are stupid or whatever. No, man, these guys need help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, is that there's men that go through this every single day and do this to themselves. It's just that I've always said it. Society doesn't give a fuck about men, bro. They don't. You know what I'm saying? We got to give a fuck about each other. And 
the only the only reason this is making the news is because these guys are famous. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, and that's not to say that you know them doing themselves to the, the, this happening to them or this happening to someone else is different. It's terrible when any man loses his life to this situation. But what I am saying is that we need this awareness that guys need to know that you are valuable. You know what I'm saying? Just because society doesn't like outwardly coddle you like they do men and like women does not mean that you are any less of a being. And I also want to say this too. This is why it's so important to have male friends on this podcast. I tell you guys all the time, you know, in joking manner, haha, girls are useless as platonic friends, whatever it is. And there's a lot of reasons why I say that, but this is a dark side of it, which I didn't want to talk about. Everything that I tell you guys is based on some kind of, it has like a dark side that I typically don't bring in. But since we're having this conversation, let's do it. Women are not built to handle your problems, guys. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys this because a lot of guys, girls, oh, I'll ride for my man. I'll, you know, I'll support him, blah, blah, blah. Understand this uncomfortable truth, guys. Female support when you're in a dark place is always temporary. Okay. It's always temporary. You lose your job. You need her to pay the bills for a bit, whatever it may be. Yeah, she'll hold you down temporarily. Um, that's why ambition is so important for women when they deal with men. They need to know that you're going to be able to take the reins at some point. They're not built to lead you. You know what I'm saying? Women don't deal with masculine problems. However, other men deal with masculine problems. And this is why it's so important to have guys in your circle that you can trust that you can go and talk to when you deal with problems like this. I wish he had picked up the phone and called somebody. You know what I'm saying? Before he did this. That could have talked him off like, nah, bro, don't do it. Like, you know, whatever he was going through, it wasn't worth going through that. We know that, you know, the girl was a significant portion of it. I've read a bunch of stuff, whatever. She was involved. But it's never to that point where you need to delete yourself. Never. You know what I'm saying? And this is why it's so important, man, to have male friends because they know the pain. They know the struggle. They know what it's like to be a man. I tell you guys all the time, men live in a fact-based reality. Women live in a bizarre world, bro. They're not built to handle your problems. They might say it on paper. I can handle your problems. I'll support you, blah, blah, blah. It's always temporary. They're not built to do it. And as a matter of fact, if a woman supports you for far too long, she's literally hardwired to lose attraction to you and move on to someone that she doesn't need to support. Biology is biology, guys. They ain't built for it. That's why you need male, masculine friends that can help you out and provide that support system for you that isn't based on attraction and what you provide. You know what I'm saying? Other men, they'll pick you up. When you're down, they get it. You know what I'm saying? Like men don't really need too much from each other. So this is why it's so important, man, to have that support system. You know what I mean? Watch content like this if you don't have those friends. Find people in your area. Get out there. Meet people. You know what I'm saying? Meet men like that are similar minded. Use our communities. We both have communities that you can talk with like minded yep, guys. The roommates. You know what I'm saying? And share this stuff with any friend of yours that's going through these hard times. That's even thinking about this stuff. I want to add one more thing to that as well. Uh, and it's very important because we saw the same on the podcast. Dating women is a luxury, right? So what happens is guys rush into re uh, relationships. They try to find a girl to fill their their voids, right? They, they might feel empty inside. They never had a, a mother's love, and they rush into like these like you know situationships. And what happens is is like Hafiz said, you have this dark hole that you can't fill, and you think being with this girl is gonna fill that hole. What happens is you're exposing yourself to a lot more harm than good. Because think about this, right? When you're with a girl, right? Obviously, something's going gonna, something's gonna to happen. Either she might, you know, respond to another guy. You know, uh, you might even do something yourself. The point is, the the emotional high is going to go up and down. If you're not stable enough to handle that roller coaster, what's going to happen is you're going to fall off. And when you fall off, many things can happen. For example, the, the, the guys that um, off themselves. And I saw somebody um, laughing in the chat call, saying, uh, LOL, uh, LOL uh, Lil uh, Imp to the rapper that passed away. I'm like, bro. Like that could have been you. Like you don't understand your little brother. So many things happen. Like so many uh, uh, series of, of events happen that can cause you to get to a point where it's like, you know what? I just I, I'm just done with it. And then you're bringing a girl that can't handle those problems as, as and then does something like cheese on you. That's a lot to handle. Yeah, and like, his age too. He's only twenty. Yeah, like a lot of you guys are older, and and I'm like, bro, like this is not a laughing matter. And then here comes the worst part, right? You'll be with a chick. You're not you're not well yourself. You got things going on. And what happens is you will put all your eggs in one basket. And you know what, what happens when you do that? Yeah. They always let you down. Mm. Yeah. And when they let you down, guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna go down. 
So I say this to say women aren't built to support you guys, man. Yeah. I They're say not. this to say dating women is a luxury, and this will be said to level up. See your shirts leveling up, leveling up, guys. If you don't level up your mindset and understand that who you are and what you're about, you can go in any direction. Until you know who you are and what your path is, and you're confident in, w- in where you're going, don't rush again into a relationship with a girl because I'm telling you right now, it's never gonna go your way. And if it does go your way, great. But at some point, there's gonna be a low, and that low could be could be the end of you. So, and I just want to thank real quick uh, Black Lemur for the five hundred dollars yeah. super chat. This Lamer, is bro. a very important discussion, man. And we thank you so much for the support. The likes are way too low for all this knowledge uh, being dropped. Thank you so much, Black Lemur. Lamer. Yeah, guys, like I'm not even gonna say like the video to like oh help us now. Just like this video so that it can get out there. Someone that might think of doing something to themselves can see this. Yeah. And understand that it gets better. You know what I'm saying? You know, guys, it's not about Greg Plitt said this RIP to him. You know, it's not about waiting for the storm to pass, guys. It's about learning to dance in the fucking rain. And the thing is, as a man, you know what I mean? You have to become a goddamn good dancer because you don't get the privilege of living in sunny Florida like women do. And And I tell you guys all the time, like, this isn't to say men are better than women or whatever, but let's keep it a stack. A female's existence is much different than a male's existence. It is what it is. We have to create our value. They're born with their value. We can cry about that all day. We understand this stuff on this side of the internet. This isn't that discussion. All I'm saying is understand that you need to know that your life is never worth deleting over women, over anything, but especially women. Because as the man, you are the prize, man. Women date up. Women want better women want a guy that's taller than them makes more money than them successful etc if she's with you right that automatically infers that you have value to some degree period you know what i'm saying men are the prize not women we live in this crazy fucking clown world that tells women that they're the prize put them on the pedestal you know what i'm saying they could you know they want traditional treatment while not being traditional women you know what i'm saying it is what it is and they're promoted to do all this bs be promiscuous, whatever it may be, right? Which can cause guys to do crazy things. It is what it is, which is why I tell you guys it's so important to have your purpose, like Chris was saying, so that you don't, you're not erratic. You're able to be grounded. You understand that you have a goal in mind. Men are creators. If you don't have something to work towards that you're creating, it's going to cause problems. My rowing coach always used to say it. Idle hands do the devil's work, man. It, it, you have to keep active. You need to have a mission. You need to have a purpose. It goes far beyond making money. It goes far beyond getting girls. You have the purpose so that girls can't derail you from your goal. You understand? When you have those blinders on and you're looking forward, whatever, the girl, she's just an accessory. She's a cherry on top of your cake that you're building. You know what I'm saying? She's just there to compliment you. You never have the girl be a focal point of your life, guys. Because when you make the girl the focal point, she has way too much power. And then she's the one that's able to drive your emotions. You need to be the rock in the relationship. You need to be the leader. You need to be the one that's grounded, which is why I tell you guys, it's so important to join communities of like-minded men. It's so important to have male friends that are that can understand where you're coming from. Because like I told you guys before, female support is temporary, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a friend, guys, right now, everybody in the chat, all 5,162 of you guys watching, thank you so much for being here. You can be anywhere else, but you're here. If you have a friend that, going through some tough times, has some issues. Maybe they went through a bad breakup, whatever. He ain't going to necessarily tell you. You know, men are taught to repress their feelings. Call him up, man. Ask him how he's doing. Make sure he's good. No, 100%. I, I love everything y'all are saying, man. And, and I'm, I'm going to challenge the guys. And I know this challenge needs to be heard. It needs to be said because that information about the OnlyFans chick and her number going up is still crazy to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. You know, so to these men, I, I would challenge them that they need to have three relationships before they even think about women. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and we had talked about this multiple times on our platform, our podcast, and it's the cross relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, at the top of the cross, the, the head, you need to have a mentor. You need mm-hmm. somebody that you can ask questions that have been through the fuel and the flame, somebody that has mm-hmm. been, you know, through these experiences that can share and help you through whatever that you're going through, whether that's business, whether that relationship, whether that, you know, trauma, whatever the case may be, boy, a mentor. Then you need to have the horizontal piece, which is the brothers that you're running alongside with. Like y'all two are brothers. Mm-hmm. Me and Hafiz are brothers. You know, we have people in our lives that we can talk to, work it out. Like how you experience this, how, how you doing, how you doing? Like, let's let's figure this thing out together because like you said, 
men need to love each other. And society don't really like us like that, but we need to build each other up and we need to have these teammates, these running mates. And also the bottom half of the uh, cross, we need people that we can pour into. You know, we need some mentees. You know, like I said earlier today, I felt like a big brother. It's like, yeah, I mean, a middle child because, yeah, you know, I, I, I feel like a little bro and a big bro all at once because I have people that I aspire to be like and I have people that are trying to aspire to be like me. I feel like every man can have that. Yep. They can do that as well, you know, but they, they're only focusing on, you know, the women. So if they can focus on building those three things, uh, those three kind of relationship with men. I think it will transform a lot of these guys. And then also a quick little caveat, a quick little note. I feel like these men have to join the team yeah. somehow. You know, the closest friends I have is all either from basketball or from football or from, you know, like religious organizations, something I have been a lot of time. We had similar like minded interests in. Yeah. And we build together, you know. So if these guys are, are asking me, how can I make these friends? How can I find like 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 minded men like you? Obviously, you got our communities. But if you go join, if you like playing basketball, go join a basketball league. COVID is dang it over. You know, it's like the world is opening back up. If you're interested in MMA, go join an MMA club. You know, get yeah. around people that you can have similar interests with and you can share life with wherever you part, wherever city and wherever part of the country you're in. Because we have to understand that those relationships, when things comes up, when the world hits us, we have to make sure that we can band together and work through it. Damn, well said. Yeah, true. yeah um, another thing I thought about, because it's it's a danger, you know, of uh, I'm a I'm an outsider when it comes to the red pill content. I'm not a part of the community. So I'm an outsider looking looking in a lot of the times to what's going on. And and to me, there's a quote that somebody once told me that I think is important for a lot of these guys to realize is that what you idolize you will then demonize. Um and so when a lot of these guys, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing F women, man, F these girls, they never deal with them. Da, 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 da. That to me is all, the guys that have gotten to that demonization point, mm. that came from idolization. Mm. That came from yeah. putting somebody on a pedestal yeah. and thinking that they could save you. Mm -hmm. And then they let you down. You see, that's, mm -hmm. what, that's what really hurts. People don't realize what, it doesn't hurt when someone is like a piece of crap. And a and just a nasty person, and then they're nasty to you. Yeah, you expect yeah. it. You and you expect it. Yeah. I think Chris Chris does a lot of fighting. He I think he told me one time that the punch that usually knocks you out is one that you don't see. Yeah. Exactly. And so yep. to me, I it's what happens with these guys is that they idolize these women as you're gonna complete me, like Jerry Maguire said. Yeah. You know, you're you're gonna be what the, a Jay or said is the center of my universe ring. You know, these guys have this view where women are going to save me, right? Mm -hmm. Because whether it's Disney Channel, whether it's fairy tales, whether it's because you were, you know, coddled by your mom and your mom was your savior. You know, your mom was the one that took care of you all the time. Yeah. So you think, oh, well, a woman's going to be my mom yeah. in the future. Yeah. Whatever it may be, they they idolize them. And then, the, and then when that woman fails them, then they demonize all women. And that's when you see the dark side. Yeah. You know, that's when you see it. But... For those like Myron and Fresh and Chris who are putting in the work, who are leveling up, who are improving their lives physically, and mostly spiritually, financially, you understand women are people. There's good people, there's bad people. Mm -hmm. And there's good people who do good things, and there's good people who do bad things, you know? And you have perspective. And with this perspective, now what happens is this per these people don't control you anymore. Because yeah. you know what it is. Yeah. They don't control you. With women, like, hey, if she's down to join my program, hey, hop on. If she doesn't want to, I don't care, like, how Myron felt with this girl situation. You are liberated from mm -hmm. that person controlling your emotions. There you go. If you're an F all women and you're one of these children in the comments who's always so triggered and I'm yeah. never deal with them, you no, they control you. That's true control. <clears throat> you, they they are living rent free in your mind because the what what the memories that burn the hardest in our brains are the memories of pain, mm -hmm. are the memories of those that hurt us. That's what really burns the most in our minds. Mm -hmm. So what happens for so many of these men, if they're not careful, and I see it, I see these guys, these women live rent free in their mind and you don't date them. You don't got to date them. You don't date them. Cool. I'm going my own way. Cool. But guess what happens? Every time they show up, 
to this channel, who's there? You are. Every time they show up to Kevin's channel, who's there? You are. Every time she posts something on Instagram, who's there commenting and saying something? You are. Even if it's negative, guess what? You are obsessed because you idolize and then you demonize. Mm -hmm. But when you're free, you're free. And that's the thing that I think men need to realize. If you're one of those guys who are nihilistic and cynical, you are not free. You are trapped in a prison of hatred and of bitterness. And so I really want the guys, I, I keep on seeing it. I keep on seeing it. And he think they're free. You're not free. You are not free. And so that unhealthy mindset, going back to what I was saying about the masculinity course, the mindset, that unhealthy mindset is what will cause that demon to even be a larger flame. So that, because what's going to happen is these guys who are, the, they're not careful. You know, they'll, they'll comment, they'll cap about how they don't care about women and I'm going my own way and F all these girls. Da, da, da. But then we all know in due time, a girl will come around. Mm -hmm. yeah. We all know. It's just, trust me. It's cool. Say what you want on Instagram. You can type whatever you want on Twitch or yep. Twitter. Da, 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 da. Yeah. A girl will come around and then she'll play you. Because you've never done any of the work. You never heal. You've never done anything. So you're still that same 16-year-old boy who got her 18-year-old boy, 20-year-old boy, whatever you are. You're the same child. She will play you. And then you thought that you had rage before. <laughs> you thought you were hurting before. Wait till that one. And so it's so important that I, I just I just want the men to realize that so many of you guys think you're virtuous when you're like, I don't care about it. I have all these women. I'm done with No, no, no. You're not virtuous. Those that run away are not virtuous. You know, those that are not dealing with their problems head on are not virtuous. And so it's just a conversation of like this, all, all this hurt, all this pain, all this suffering that you are dealing with. We've all been there. We've all been there. Right. Everyone has in some capacity or another have hit rock bottom via a series of unfortunate event to use that book's title. But then everyone had a choice. Stay in nihilism. Hope the world will burn. Burn the world down. It's like if you're a joker. Burn yourself down as if you're somebody who wants to end, end themselves. Or you realize the path is accepting the world for how it is, as Myron talked about, mm -hmm. and becoming a better man. And the last thing I'm going to say is while you were talking, I was on my phone, not texting, but looking up some research. I remember somebody told me a statistic and I wanted to confirm it mm -hmm. to make sure it's true. Going back to violence, the number one leading cause of, of gun related endings is self endings. I, I looked it up. Wow. Number one leading cause. I looked it up. I want to confirm it. Um, the United States Department of Justice reports that about 60% of adult, um, you know, deletions, deletions, um, are by self deletions when it comes to that item that people use, mm. you know, and so it's something that I want guys to realize that the, the implosion happens more than the explosion, you know, yeah, because like you're like, like you said, no one's when a guy goes out into the world and commits the heinous crimes that are going on. That makes front page news yeah. because he more likely hurt women and children. Yep. Right. Yep. No one hears the thousands upon thousands of stories of the guys like these men who hurt themselves. Exactly. And this is not a light issue. And this is not a minute issue. And if men do not deal with their demons head on, this will be a continuous issue. Damn. Damn, man. Super chats real quick. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. Well, let's see here. Uh, we missed. Uh, we got a bunch of them. Um, welcome to all the new members. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Guys, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, let's. Uh, I guess what we. Um. Yeah, Trey. We're gonna pull them up. I'm gonna read the the twenty and up guys. Just to, only just twenty to keep and going. Up. Um. So, Mark Nuts. Uh, learn to love yourself and to be truly happy being uh, on your own before you bring someone into your kingdom. If they leave you, you'll miss them, but you can still stand tall. Guys, be selfish so you can be selfless. Yep. Uh, Oz F uh, with the uh, Arab. Uh, I don't speak Arab. I, don't, I, I speak Arabic, but I can't read it, man. I'm sorry. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, but thank you so much. Shukran to Zealand. Uh, the likes are way too low. That was from Black Lemur. Thank you so much. Uh, Burning Wolf. Um, Hafiz. 
is incorrect. It is not that people don't want to have this conversation, but that most men understand that nobody cares for your pain and hurt, so you have no choice but to be stoic. Keep going until you can't But That's, that's a lie. I want to address that really yeah, quickly ahead, if you ahead. guys don't please. mind. That's yeah, yeah, please, please. That's an absolute lie because what are these men in this room's channel about? You could have said that maybe in the year 1970s when there was nothing going on, yeah. Yeah. but you can't say no one cares anymore. That's BS. That was that, that, that there was an old time. Nowadays, you have so many channels, so many men who want to help. You have all these different avenues that want to help. That's that's a, that's a lie. Like that's that's a, I don't I don't like lies. That right there, my friend, take your twenty five dollars or whatever the hell that currency is. That's a lie. Mm. Yeah, no, I yeah. I mean, the thing is, guys, you gotta understand is that it's out there, it's just that you're not gonna see it because that's not what people want to see. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh the see, only way to learn from heartbreak is to keep living. You live and you learn the only L's in life is lessons learned. What don't kill you only makes you stronger. Salute to the greatest podcast in the MIAO. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then uh to punk to 74. Yeah. Thank you, fresh and fit. A man needs to stop making the woman the main character of their story. Man is the main character. Facts. You know what I'm saying? She's an accessory. Uh, Drew Beasy, uh, 20 hours, almost took my own. I was devastated when she cheated on me with her coworker and got prego. But thanks to roommates and fresh fat, got my ish together, got a 100K sales job and lost 30 pounds. We up. Damn. Absolutely, man. Congratulations. Absolutely. I'm glad you're still it's here, always man. darkest before the sun rises, guys. Uh, the pimped out play puss, uh, 20 hours. I don't usually super chat, but this is important. Tries like this can be prevented if young men have mentorship from RP aware men like this. Yep. That's why having a mentor is critical. Chris was on the money. Yep. Uh, and then uh, twenty dollars, Leo K. The worst part: their women don't give a uh, rat's ass about them. Yeah, uh, uh, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, um, sister George. Uh, twenty dollars. Hey. Uh, hey, thank you. Thank I you. appreciate that. And then uh, fifty dollars. Thank you so much, Word MD. Thanks for the serious talk and the roommate collab. Here is my contribution. Thank you so much. Uh, and then twenty dollars, Eli Woods. Woods. Why don't women understand that this channel is yeah. meant for men? Okay, I we're think good. we're good. Caught up. Cool. Uh, uh, so I want to say this, guys. I say this all the time on this podcast, and again, you're going to see me you know, repeat myself, but it's very important because we get new viewers every day, and I haven't said this in a while. Women don't build, they move in, okay? Now, go ahead. I know women are going to attack me for saying that, blah, 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 but I want you guys to operate under that premise, and the reason why is because we live in a world now where women want you preassembled. The days of a girl building with you and all this other stuff, there's girls that do it. But on a balance of probabilities, most modern-day women want you pre-assembled because they make their own money. They don't want to necessarily come in and deal with a guy that's still trying to figure his thing out. Ambition is important, but if she makes a certain amount of money, you know, her the more money a woman makes, the less patience she has, simply put. So I want you guys to operate under this ideology. Women aren't going to sit here and save you. They're not designed to handle your problems. As a matter of fact, they're designed to be repulsed by your problems, especially if it's going to mess with their security. And... Know that you need to build it first because here's the beauty of what happens when you build it yourself. When you build it yourself, okay, and you become, you get this, this certain confidence, this air, this not give a fuckitude, okay, where it's take it or leave it. I, I really want you guys to get this mentality. I can't even describe it unless you have it. When you accomplish things, you're going to be far less tolerant of BS to include the stuff that comes on with women. We tell you guys on this podcast all the time, make money, become successful, get in the gym, do all these things, not for women, but simply so that you don't tolerate the bullshit that inevitably comes with dealing with the women. I'm going to say that again. You make the money, you get in the gym, and you become successful, okay, so that you don't tolerate the bullshit that comes with the women, not for the women, guys, okay? And when you do it like that, right, when you're on your purpose, you're becoming better for you. A chick coming in and saying, I'm going to break up with you. Or I cheated with your best friend. Or I did this. Or whatever other fuckery a lot of modern day women do. It's not going to bother you. It might piss you off. But you know. You've built yourself up. You've been through dark tunnels like this before. You know that there's a light at the end of this tunnel. It's no big deal. You've dealt with adversity before. You've learned how to pop and lock in that fucking rainstorm. So you're going to be able to look at that bitch. Moonwalk out that relationship and go get another girl. And I need you guys to have that mentality and that abundance mentality that you are the prize, not these girls. I've said that a million times on this fucking show, and I'm going to say it again because I want you guys to literally burn that into your mind. When this stupid bimbo, right, earlier in the broadcast said, I'm going to expose you, blah, blah, blah. And I said, try me, bitch. That came from years of me working on myself, from going to the gym, from 
facing adversity from building up this podcast from nothing to what it's at now, she can't shame and or expose someone who is real. I am who I say I am. I don't purport myself to be another person. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. And the reason why I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks is because I've worked hard as fuck on myself. And when you work hard as fuck on yourself, out of society can't penetrate you, man. They can't penetrate you. This self-improvement, guys, it goes far beyond girls, man. It's so that you cannot be penetrated by outside circumstances. Pause. You built a certain, exactly. <laughs> you built a certain mindset. You built a certain strength you've built a certain resolve that other people's opinions other people's thoughts outside influences don't influence you you could look someone dead in the eye and say fuck you i don't care you could look a bimbo in the eye i don't want to have sex get out you can look at your co-worker that's disrespecting you and be like bro listen i'll smack the shit out of you right now and sometimes that has to happen you need to let people know that there are consequences to fucking up but you get that resolve and that confidence from your accomplishments, guys. You don't get it from women, okay? I need you guys to really hammer this in. Become, and then the girls will come. Not the other way around. Somebody clip this motherfucking channel. <sighs> this was man. a great video video clip right here, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, I just like, you know, because we have a lot of young guys watching us, man. Yeah. And, and um, you know, you guys might not have a big brother. You guys might not have a father. You guys might not have a cousin. You know what I'm saying? You might have only women in your house. You know what I'm saying? And this is why that masculine, uh, that masculine leadership, having a father, having a big brother, having someone that has that, that uh, logical sense of mind, right, to guide you, right, when you're, when you're young and you're impressionable and you don't really know what's going on, it's so critical. If you guys don't have a big brother, we're here. You can watch us. You can watch the roommates. You know what I'm saying? We make very similar content. And share this video with someone that's going through some tough times, man, honestly. And I want to add one more thing here as well regarding peace. Because we see on the show all the time, right? What do men really want from women? Peace, right? And when you build up that inner peace yourself, when you've conquered, like you said, building yourself up fitness-wise, mentally-wise, financially-wise, you can stand strong and say, you know what? I'm at peace. And if you do it by yourself, you cannot understand that, you know what? If I bring someone onto this train I'm going on right now, it's not that I need them. It's that I might want them on the train. But with that same thought... They can leave the same way they came because now it's you. You've, you've been on the train the whole time. You built the whole train yourself. So you having that, that confidence and knowing that you built the train yourself, guess what? Take it or leave it like you said before. And people say all the time, yo, Fresh, why are you always alpha? Why aren't you like, like this? I'm like, bro, I'm at peace, bro. Like, no matter what anyone says to me, I know I'm good because I worked on myself as well. So I'll just say this. If you know who you are, if you know where you're going, then someone coming along onto your path will not derail you. They might hinder you a little bit, maybe take off off for a second or two. But guess what? If you know where you're going, you're working on yourself, then guess what? A bitch comes to your house, bro, does some, some random shit, cheats on you. Okay, cool. Next. It's that simple. But that abundance mindset, peace of mind, only comes when you level up and work on yourself. Yeah, I think uh, I really love that point that uh, Fresh described because I think sometimes, you know, I... With, with some of the messages that I talk, especially when I get into the marriage stuff, a lot of people think it's such, um, you know, at, you know, antiquated I ideas. But one of the things that stood out to me is that the important, importance of mate selection, mm -hmm. like who you pick is so important. Yeah. And and like I said, I'm just, an, I'm just a male. I'm on this male accountability energy this past couple of um, weeks. It's needed. Yeah. And and. And we we just we have to realize the more you write down all the problems with modern women today, you just change the world. Women for men and men have the same exact problems. We complain all day long about how so many of these young girls pick the wrong guy and then the wrong guy ruins their life. And that guys do the same exact things. Guys pick the wrong women. Facts. Yeah. And guys, when yeah. they pick the wrong women, these women will ruin your life. Facts. And so I love the point that Fresh brought up because I, I've always said, I tell this all the time, my dad is a very clean person. One of the cleanest human beings I ever know. My dad, if he, if he walks into your car and your car is dirty, he will not go inside of it. He just won't. He won't drive. He won't drive. It's just too nasty. It's disgusting to him. He will not be a part of that. 
No, if my, if if I go over to my father's and my mother's house and I make it messy, he gets mad because he keeps it clean. You're not going to come here in my clean house and make it messy. Mm. Those who are clean do not like to be around those who are unclean. No biblical correlation intended. <laughs> those who are healthy do not like to be around those who are unhealthy. On the flip side, my I have friends who I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not the cleanest person sometimes. I got some friends who are dirtier than me. That's a problem. And they, and, and they don't mind. They can, they, if, if there's, there's a dirty house, they don't mind it. They don't mind it. They can go in a dirty car. They can go in dirt. They don't mind it because dirt. Is, they don't even see dirt because they've been so used to being in the pig filth that they don't even see that there's money all around. So it's very important that men realize that if you are an unhealthy man, you will allow an unhealthy woman into your life and, and into your house. Your house is a wreck. It's messy, dirt all over the place. She gonna come in with her dirty shoes, step all over the carpet the way Myron don't like it. <laughs> she gonna come tearing your stuff down. She gonna come peeing on the floor. You won't. You don't won't say nothing because hey, it's I'm used to being dirt, dirty. But if you are a man who's clean, and you're a man whose house is tidy, your bedroom is in order, your home is in order. She comes in. That dirty feet on the carpet. Yo, 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 yo. Don't, no shoes on the carpet. She comes in, tries to leave. For, hey, hey, put that back up. Hey, she goes in, uses the bathroom, no flush. Girl, did you not flush? You will be so disgusted that that's her first and last time ever coming inside this house. Mm. The same metaphor is true emotionally. When you're an emotionally healthy guy and a mostly unhealthy woman comes into your life, you start seeing things. You're like, what? You you get so disgusted by certain things like, yo, you will never come back here. This is your first and last time. I remember Chris told this story all the time. See, so went over this one girl's house and she's like, I don't want no kids. I don't want this. I don't want that. No, 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 no. Man, this, no, no. I just want you to sit here and keep company. Oh, you'll never see me ever again, huh? You will never see me ever again. Ever again in your life. And that was the last time you saw him. When you truly, see, that's why I keep on telling guys is the mindset. It's really the mindset. You have to be a healthy person because you'll be exposed. When you're truly a healthy person, you can't stand unhealthy. Women. And knowing that he said mindset, because a lot of people they hear that and they ignore it. For you. Yes, they 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 feel like they made it with the mindset if they got their business in order. Oh no no no! If they got their money in order, if they got mm -hmm. their body in order, if they got this car or they got this house, then they feel like they are clean. They feel like they are emotionally healthy because they have those things. No, when you are putting in the work. The inner work, now you can point out these unclean people without a shadow of a doubt. I can tell what exactly what I'm gonna get from this girl in 20 minutes yeah. of me talking to her. I know exactly what she is. Yep. It's not. It's not hard because I I put the work in. I I know what it's like to be unhealthy. I know what it's like to be unclean. I know it's like to be you know emotionally right. I, I know what it looks like. I can see it. It's easy to point out. But a lot of these guys, they just think that just because you have this and have this, all these material things, you have to work on the inner, you will still choose bad women. Yeah. And that's just a great point that Chris brought up because you, cause sometimes you look at a guy. I mean, this is some deep stuff. You look yes. at a guy yeah. and you'd be like, man, that's a good looking guy or a really strong guy, a really successful guy. And not knowing he's going through hell. Yeah. And, and then you hear these stories like, why were you dealing with that? Yeah. Bro, do you know? Do you not know who you are? Do you not know you're this guy making millions of dollars? You're this celebrity. You're this, you're that, you're that. Why was you? Why were you going through that? Because here he was still poor. Here he was still weak. He's still a kid. He, he was still a child in his mind. The bodies are grown, mm. but the minds are young. And so I think it's so important that these men really understand that, man. They really understand that if you're not healthy, bro, I'm telling you, you will choose the same girls. Oh, and and nobody, I'm telling you, I what I love about what, what, what I've done is that I've I live in both worlds. I live in the male world, I live in the women world. Women call me usually at the rate that men call me in for advice. And I hear both stories. I'm telling you it's the same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Girls will date the same kind of guys until those guys don't want them in their mid-30s. Yep. Over oh, same guy cheats on them. You hear the story. He got cheated on four different times by this guy, this guy, and this guy. What did it's the same story because you choose the same guy. Call it the cold de sac of misery. Yep. You have this trauma bond, and 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 there's so many different layers to it. But yes, I really hope the guys understand that component because if you're not healthy, you will definitely 
allow these unhealthy people into your life over and over and over again. I want to Damn. read this super chat real quick because this ties into what I was going to say. Fantastic points by you guys. Uh, almost became a part of the statistic myself, a 21 single mother, only child and broken family. This knowledge could save lives. Thank you for speaking on the subject. Yeah, no, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Uh, that's Mauricio Ross. Um, I want to double down on what you guys said because what you guys said is fantastic. If you bring a crazy woman into your life and she ruins your life, it's your fucking fault. Yeah. We got, we, 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 you know, we talk about holding women accountable, which, you know, they're allergic to a lot of women, right? <laughs> we make the jokes, ha, 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 no, you know, true. you know, accountability for a woman is a kryptonite, blah, 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 ha, 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 right? But we got to start holding men accountable too. And the thing is this, guys, you're the leader. Men are the leaders, okay? And believe it or not, guys, we actually do have some leverage in this deregulated sexual marketplace, <laughs> okay? <laughs> we give the rings. We give the commitment. We give them the relationship. That's so real, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys think, man, the women hold all the cards. The women hold the, all the cards. No, we really actually hold all the cards. What you guys don't know, and we talked about this on their, on their show, and I'm not going to get into it too much, but all I'm going to say is that what feminism has done is it's inadvertently given the leverage to high-value men. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. Sexual liberation, contraception, whatever. What it's allowed is for the women to make their own sexual selections. And when you leave a woman to her own devices, what does she do? She picks the fuck boys. She picks the guys that are attractive. She picks the guys that make money, the ballers, whatever it may be. They pick the best guys from an arousing standpoint, especially when they're the most beautiful, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These guys have their fun and they toss them whatever it may be. And then women have a skewed reality of how men really are. Everyone's trash, blah, blah, blah. All I'm saying is this, guys. You could choose if you want to marry these chicks. You could choose if you want to stay single. But when you level up, you get the privilege of being able to choose what women come into your life, which women's don't, which ones are recreational use only, which ones you keep, whatever it is. I hate to say it in that term, but hey, this yeah. is a man's fucking podcast. If you feminists are triggered, get the fuck off. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here. So you guys actually have the leverage and you control who comes in and out of your life. Exactly. Okay? Just like if you're fat, I tell fat people all the time. You're a fat piece of shit. It's your fault. You chose to eat that food. You chose to be in a calorie surplus. You chose to become a lethargic piece of shit and not exercise. You make your bed, you sleep in it. That's why I make fun of this body positivity bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So same thing with being a fat piece of shit. Toxic women that come in your life and fuck you up. It's your fault because you gave her that time. You gave her that energy. You let her come into your home with dirty shoes. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Let me add to that as well because um you said something that's very important, accountability, right? And a lot of guys, especially, they don't look at themselves as being accountable because they haven't leveled up, right? So break down that word, accountability. A lot of guys, if you think about it, you have abilities, guys. You have either good looks, you have a good mindset, you have a good body, you have a good uh, fitness regimen, you have a good uh, you know, monetary uh, level, but you know, using it to your advantage. And I'll just say this, men are the price because think about this. If you're with a female, right? And things aren't going your way, you have the option to leave. <laughs> like guys, you don't have to be with a girl all the time. You can be single. And it, it's funny because guys like, oh, oh, fresh Myron, uh, Hafiz or Chris, like, should I break with this girl? Uh, she cheated four times, but I love her. Like, uh, I don't know. How I'm like, bro, dude, you can walk away right now. Why are you asking me the question? You know what you need to do. And it's like, Man. if you understood how important your sanity was, your peace was, your life is. You wouldn't waste time with these bimbos, bro. Like, like me and Marion say all the time on the show. Most girls that, you, that, that you're gonna meet, bro, especially here in Miami, they're bimbos, bro. What value do they offer you outside of sex? And this pisses me off all the time, man. It's kind of like guys will put themselves in these situations and they complain. Yes. But yeah. they never say, "Damn, this was my fault." And the majority of the time, it's a choice you make. You just say, "Hey, you know what? She's hot." I want her. But when you talk to her, does she want kids? Does she want marriage? Does she want you? Because <laughs> most of these girls just want something from you. So I want you to think about this next time you go on a date, right? St speak about her mindset. Speak about who she really is. Let her tell you who she is. Listen to her. Don't just look at her body because once again, yes, there's some bodies out there that if you look at them, you're like, damn, I want her. But after the sex, what comes next? And when you realize that like, it's, there's more to life than just sex from a girl, does she add to your, to, to your uh, company? Does she help you in your daily life? 
Is she actually uh, someone that you could talk to? At that point, all doors are open because now you can think with a clear mind. You can see them for, for, for who they really are. So I'm just saying, guys, if you're out here, you got options. You got choices, right? Choose wisely because in the Bible talks about this as well. Women destroy kingdoms mm -hmm, if nice. you allow it. Yeah. So if you let her in the kingdom, the Trojan horse, she looks pretty on outside. <laughs> who could inside, she's rotten. So there you go. Sorry, sorry. What did you say, Trey? I said for who could find a virtuous woman. There you go. Yeah. Um. Do you yeah, want to address yeah, that? Okay. Yeah. Let's pull up that. Uh. Um. That super chat. We got a disagreement. Uh. You know. Obviously. Uh. One MD twenty four nine nine. Thank you for the donation. I respectfully disagree with Hafiz. When women are only are, are with only ten to twenty percent of the men, men pick what they can. Let's talk about like I. I'm so sick of you guys and your and the emotional logic you guys have. You take these numbers and these stats and you make them facts when it doesn't make any sense. If women are only with the top 10 to 20% of men, how come so many of you guys got heartbroken by a girlfriend? I want to know. If women are only with the top 10 to 20%, how come so many guys have been heartbroken by a girlfriend? I want to know. I'm going to just say this. I would say they've had experiences, but the women really want a top level guy. I'm not denying that, but but here's the thing. Mm -hmm. He said w women are only with oh. 10 to 20 percent of men. That is not true. Yeah, no, they're not, not true. Not only. But here's the reality: if you were a guy, this is a this is like I said, it's such. You listen to these guys say the stupidest things in the world. They get mad at women for doing shit they would do themselves. If you had the option of picking. And you can get all the girls in the world. Would you pick the top ten percent of girls or the bottom ten percent? <laughs> I'm curious. Which one are you guys picking? Top ten percent. I'm like, what are you guys? You guys, you guys are mad at what you can't do. If you had the option of, I could pick the best women in the world. Why not do it? Hey, it just happens that women can pick it at a younger age. But trust me, thirty year old high value men are not picking from the bottom forty percent. <laughs> they're not picking from the bottom. Yeah. They're not picking from the bottom. So the idea, the first idea that I had a problem with is that women are only dating 10 to 10, 10 to 20 percent of men. No, that is not true. Most uh, most Americans get married. Most people in the West will get married. Even up until today, the number is 90 percent of people in the West will eventually get married. So let's stop making that illogical things. And it also men need to stop complaining about female nature when there's shit about male nature too. When men have choices, they don't choose bottom of the barrel women. They just don't do it. So you're a bottom of the barrel man and you're mad that girls don't want you. That's too many guys today. That's they're, awesome. ma they're mad. It's not. Look, as a I one of my favorite videos of AMS, he said it. There are 500 pound women that would love to be with guys like that. Yep. They, they don't want them. They don't want them. I, I tell you, when I used to do my lives, I would ask guys all the time. I'm like, hey, man, look, why don't you? There, there's some average chicks. Why don't you? You're, to me, you're an average guy. You, you live with your mother. You make this much money. You don't have much. You're average. Why don't you date an average girl? Oh, man, you know, feed me now. Come on, man. You know the thing. Come on, man. No, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. And so, so many of these guys are doing the same things. They're doing the same things. So, I'm an individual. I just look at both sides. I look at both sides. So, so many men want to complain, but... And the last thing I'm, I want to address is what Fresh said. And that's the thing for me. You chose this girl. Whether it's wife, girlfriend, fiance, living partner, polyamory girl, whatever the hell you want to call it. These guys chose them. You did like 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 uh, Myron said, you had the opportunity. Men are the gateway to relationships. Yep. Women are or gatekeepers. I'm sorry, gatekeepers relationship. Women are the gatekeepers, generally speaking, to sex. Men are to relationship. You do not get in one unless you want to. Yep. More, I'm telling you, there's no girl putting a gun to your head <laughs> and saying, you better make me my girlfriend or else. No, you get the opportunity to say yes and no. You don't like the terms and agreements. You don't got to sign a contract, buddy. Bam. That's it. But so many of these guys are signing the contract, not reading the terms of agreement, or even knowing the terms of agreement is going to screw them over. And still, well, I'm going to sign that. You know what? I'm going to save her. I'm going to see. Yeah, exactly. just so happy. Study so pussy. happy. And then they get screwed over, and then they want to complain.
Yeah. Then they want to whine and they want to complain. And, so yeah, no. and then as they want to complain, they want to see, you know, guys shit on girls. Yeah. They, and then they yeah. just want to watch that. That's yeah. all they want to watch. They don't want to help. They don't want no accountability. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, like Fee just said, like, you know, they love it when we say women have to be accountable. Yeah. But the moment we say, hey, look in the mirror. You see, oh, see all that's right there? A lot of stuff going on in there. You got to get into that uncomfortable truth. You got to find out some things that you don't like about yourself. You got to fix yourself. That's too hard for them, bro. They want to do it. It's so easy to sit back and just blame and just rant and just complain all the time. And for everyone talking smack at boy, he's just telling the truth. So if it offends you, it's because it's the truth. Hundred percent, which is funny to me. It, it, it just, I, like, I'm. You start. I'm telling you, it's like your my brain is exploding the past couple of weeks because women call always complain about men in today's world. Men complain about women. <laughs> We we as men know, oh yeah, the, the truth, the thing about women, there's a problem. But the more you interact with some of these guys today, you're like, bro, these girls are not making this up. No. They, yeah. they, these girls are not making this up. Yeah. You, you like the stuff they complain and whine about. I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? Yo, I had we had an event, right? I had somebody tell me, yo, fresh, I need a refund. I was like, I was like, what's up, bro? You didn't spend enough time with me. I was like, what? <laughs> Nigga, who are you talking to? I was like, bro, I was help dude, everybody. He said, like, oh, I thought you should have spent like an hour an hour more with me. I'm like, bro, I can only imagine the shit you tell girls. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm a dude, bro. Like, bro, I'm tri that's tripping, dog. And, and, and right. I want to say this too, um, because the 80 20 thing gets thrown out a lot. Let's make this clear, guys. You got to understand. When we say the women are with 10 to 20% of the guys, I want you guys to understand what that means is. When it comes to like casual sex and hooking up, that's what it typically means is the women are chasing for they're chasing those guys for relationships, that's, but they ain't getting those that's, relationships. That's what they want. That's what they want. But they won't get them. But all they the won't time. get them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They might fuck that guy, but mm -hmm. they're not getting a relationship from that guy. Yep. So I want you guys to understand that, like, we know women have a dualistic mating strategy, right? They're chasing it those top 10, 20% of guys for a relationship, but most of them ain't getting them. You know what I'm saying? That's why so many women are single. They're clearly not getting them. But they are getting relationships from guys that maybe they're they're gonna have to you know consolidate. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna have to make some you know changes to my uh, relationship goals, whatever it is. But they're smashing the guys that are getting the casual sex, or whatever. That's where that small percentage comes from, guys. The guys yep. that aren't committing and that have the ability to play the field and play the game. Yep. So I think guys are conflating the two. But yeah, I, I see like yeah, yeah both and, sides. And then real quick, go ahead yeah, on yeah. Twitch. Shout out to that way donated twenty subs. Thank you so much. All my niggas in the Twitch chat. Shout out to y'all donated subs. Thank you guys. They started a hype train. Shout out to y'all. Go sub to their channel as well on YouTube. Uh, the roommates, also the Instagram, the roommates HTX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead oh, and, and yeah. shout out to Matt Dog and Sin for Rent and uh, Azrael as well. Sin for Rent in the building. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, yeah, um, and because because the part about. The even the 80 20 rule, I think guys have to understand the different strategies, right? Yeah, for sure. And it's like if you are a bottom tier woman, you might you get sex, but that's all you'll ever get. Exactly. Yep. That's all you'll ever get. People are thinking that these women are living like no, they're just getting sex. Yeah. And they're getting discarded back into the streets, <laughs> back into the wild. Sex. <laughs> that's what they're getting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I want I, I want the guys to realize that when you're a man with options, you're going to be picky, too. Yep. You need to be picky. You need to fact. be picky. I would argue you need to be pickier than the women. Exactly. It's the greatest decision or the most important decision you make in your life. Yeah. 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 You I have to be way more to lose. Yo, I way made, more. I made a comment, right, a couple of weeks ago that I don't date black ghetto women. But I, what I'm really saying that I don't get I don't date ghetto women, period. Yeah. So people took offense. Oh, uh, you shouldn't say that. I was like, yo, I have my own standards and I'll be damned if I'm going to level up this, to this level and then date someone that, has, that, has, that doesn't have the same mindset. I agree. So I, you I, don't I, care I, what you look like. You got attitude. I, I'm done with I you. I love dog. what you just said and I, because I, one of my favorite, a, shout out to the, the, the GOAT King AMS. I, what I love, one of my favorite things that AMS said one day is he was like, all I'm asking you men to do is to have the mindset that the women have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all I want you to do, you see, the, you see what he said? That's not uncommon to most women. Yeah. What he just said, I don't tolerate that. I don't tolerate that. I don't, I won't Thanks. deal with that. I Thanks. won't deal with that. Now I will only take this. Men, especially if you 
done the work, you should have that attitude. Right. You should have that entitlement because yep. you actually do deserve it. Yep. So therefore, it's not entitlement. And so I want the guys to realize that the these women were only wanting the men at the top. The guys at the top only want women at the top. And most guys only want the women at the top. But unfortunately, the difference is that men can settle because our evolutionary strategy allows us to basically have sex with almost anything. For a lot of those women, it's not the same thing. So I just want to make that yep. clear for guys to realize that, especially when you get to the top, you think women are picky? Boy, you haven't seen picky yet. Look yep. at my life. Look at Chris's life. Look at Fresh's life. Look at Myron's life. Boy, when guys put in the work, they're just as picky. But the difference is we actually deserve it because we've done the work. Yeah, man. It's a pandemic guys, right now, man. It's a pandemic of a male accountability. There's yeah. just none. Like, like we when we talked about earlier of, like, we know what certain types of videos are going to do well, that tells me everything I need to know right there. Yeah. Even though if you literally only want us to attack women and hold them accountable so you can feel good about yourself, you have no accountability at all. Yeah. You have nothing. Yeah. You know, and, and that's the main issue. And we see that and we get frustrated at that because they don't want to listen to other things. They just want to feel good temporarily. They just want to feel their little ego and just see women just get beat up. Yeah. And that's the sad part, man. It's just like, man, we have to understand that we're going to change. You want to level up. Mm -hmm. You have to change your mindset. You have to hold yourself accountable. I need to address this moron right here. Mm -hmm. I disagree with telling men that they're frustrated because you are a low value man. I think it would be better if we give these brothers a hand up and showing them the way rather than being yet another person insulted them. You idiot. What the hell is these channels about? You have, <laughs> if somebody's at the bottom, this is what blows my mind. Get I know I'm getting frustrated yeah, go ahead, today. Go ahead, go ahead, it man. blows go ahead. my mind. Yeah. If you don't have any value, you are a low value person. I didn't make the rules. I didn't make you no value. You are a lower value person. But what happens? Yes, you're at the bottom, but we give you all the tools and resources possible to become the man that you created to be. You guys do your money Mondays and all your different videos, giving men's tips. You get you have so many fitness tips. You have so much dating tips. There's so much content on your channel that you guys do. We've created so many things on our Patreon, manhood course, finance course, fitness course, um, character course, identity course, healing course. We created so many things. We have so many different videos where we bring in men after man after man after man after man who comes and gives men the information, the truth to become better. We recommend books like The Way to Superior Man, No More Mr. Nice Guy, Jordan B. Peterson's 10, 12 Rules for Life. We have so many tools and resources and we give the helping hand. I remember had a meeting with YouTube and, and they were asking me, they were like, how do you guys reach out? How do you reach out to your community? I said, I give my phone number. They said, what? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I just tell them to call me. So you tell these guys, you give people your rent, your number, your actual, so yeah, just tell them to call me. Why not? And that's one of the first times me and Myron talked on, he was on Patreon. I said, Hey, shoot me a call. Yep. I give my number all the time. Because I'm going out of my way to give a helping hand to help them up. So my biggest thing is that that is exactly what we're doing. That's what you've been doing. That's what you've been doing. That's what you've been doing. That's what I've been doing for the past 12 years. And so we're just not insulting men. We're not just shaming men, but we're not women. I'm not going to coddle you. I'm not your mother freaking mother. Too many guys today want a mom. I will never be your mom. I am not your mom. I am not your auntie. I'm not your grandma. I am not a woman. I'm going to give you the masculine truth as direct as possible, as assertive as possible, but I will also give you the way. I will also give you all the tools and resources needed to become successful. And so to me, I'm just so sick and frustrated of all these freaking men who want to find every excuse to what we're doing is wrong while they're not doing anything in their lives. And complain. And they want to complain every time. You have a stupid ass comment about what we said, but you're doing nothing with your life. It's getting beyond frustrating with me. We've done what more do you want from me, said Tyrese. <laughs> or so whoever the hell said it. it, it was Tyrese. Tyrese. You, you I'm Tyrese. like, what more do you guys want? We're giving you everything. We gave a whole channel of male accountability. We, we gave you five years of our lives. I lost jobs. I lost <laughs> girlfriends. I lost homes. What are we talking about here? Give men a helping hand. 
I want to say this. Crazy, um, man. Yeah, yeah, he's really it's cares. Crazy. Bro, like, it's like, it's passion because you guys don't see the behind the scenes. He really crazy. cares, guys. Yeah, like, 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 really does care. This is not a, this is not a joke. This is real life. He That's really why, cares. Yeah, he he really gives really a, cares. a shit about people, man. Like that yeah. passion comes from somewhere. Like these, yep. the sermons, the 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 epic rants, like that. You can't speak that way and speak passionately like that with that kind of conviction. You can't fake it. You can't fake that. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I'm gonna have to double down on that. Like guys, you don't get the privilege of getting coddled. Men live in a fact-based reality. I tell you guys that on every fucking show. If you're a loser as a man, there's consequences to that. Society makes fun of you. You don't get laid, etc. There's consequences to you being a loser. Women, though, eh, there's a bunch of conventions set up for female failures. No worry, no la no worry, ladies. Uh, love your curves. You know, you could, they can watch the reel. They can look at Lonnie Love. It's okay. We have a plus-size swimwear. Whatever it may be, a girl can be a fuck up and get saved. You can't as a man. You don't have your looks to rely on. You don't have only fans. You can't sell pictures of your feet. Okay. You have to become, and we have to give it to you guys straight like this because listen, guys, there's no such thing as participation trophies. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys are younger. You guys might be born in the two thousands, whatever. I was born in the fucking nineties and they gave it to you straight. You lost, you fucking lost. Yeah. You didn't get a medal. You know what I'm saying? We didn't grow up with iPads. We didn't grow up with smartphones that we can look and constantly get, you know, instant gratification that we have now. We have a McDonald's world where people are instantly getting what they want right away without waiting for whatever. Hell, even the internet's fast. You can get order a, 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 a car and a random person, a random stranger takes you to where you want to go. You can get your food delivered to you. This is the world that we live in now. Guys, I'm here to tell you these modern conveniences have made a lot of men weak. They made a lot of them pussies and a lot of them soft. And you sometimes you have to get it straight like that. You have to get it. You're a fucking loser. You're fat. You're being a bitch right now because tough love is going to make you stronger in the long run. Okay. Men have to live in a fact based reality, guys. Guys, you got two options, right? Me, Myron, Hafiz, Chris, we're going up. We've already reached a level where most guys don't reach and we're going up continually because we never stop growing. There's two trains here. One train is leaving. Going that way, which is the way to success and happiness. The other train is going nowhere. It stopped. So a lot of you guys are on this train going nowhere fast. And then you question people that are going somewhere on this train. And I'm like, wait, wait, you're talking about people on the train that's moving, going somewhere? <laughs> Where are you, bro? So choo choo motherfucker <laughs> on the train. <laughs> I left behind. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you know, man. You guys, like it's, it, it is what it is, man. You you guys gotta say fuck your feelings and understand that you 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 have to become you yeah. have to that's the biggest that's thing man we're going to tell you what you need to hear not what you want to hear yep you know and, and because we care so yeah we're going to flame you up if you need to be flamed up we're going to tell you the hard truth if we, if we feel like you need to hear it. because something something that you're hearing and watching is not making you move yep mm -hmm. it's like i don't know what more do you want <laughs> or what, what what more you need to get up and move yeah you know, like, like, stop sitting down and just stop and just stop watching people live. Yeah, move, go do something, take the baton and run. It's too many guys just sitting down and just on the bench and just chilling. Yeah, and I then they complain about the game. Then they just complain, like, no, you got to get in the game. But a lot of people don't want to get in the game. It's scary. Yeah, fine. people are watching. You I'm can embarrass yourself. And you I'll know, you, you can fail. People don't want to deal with that. So those guys, they not real men. And then don't don't come and complain. I don't want to hear nothing else if you ain't getting the game. Do you know the way? Yeah. Um, Ferdinand Slip, uh, 50 hours. A lot of men in their younger years get a lot of damage when the while the women chase the top 20%. The men get cheated on, monkey branch, etc. I think the issue is a lot of average men, not bums, are treated like bums. Most men aren't chasing the top women. So I want to say this real quick uh, to double down on what Chris said. Oh, a lot of men are living... Mm -hmm but you guys aren't necessarily alive. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to say that again. A lot of you guys are living, but you're not necessarily alive. And I'll tell you guys this, man, when you're alive, you treasure your life. You don't let bullshit get in between you and happiness. You become a selfish POS. You know what I'm saying? Just like Hafiz said earlier, I need you guys to date like women do. I need you guys to be inherently selfish with your mate selection. I need you guys to protect your energy like a fucking crazy man. If a wild chick comes into your life, you got to be prepared to give that bitch to Sparta. Like, this is, this bam, is and you kick her out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be, what do they always say when you're going to hire employees, right? You 
hire slow, fire fast. Mm -hmm. I need you guys to operate like that with girls. Too many of you guys let girls come into your life and drain you nice and slow. And you just sit there. Android 19 would grab you by the fucking neck. Like, oh, Gina's gonna come and kick Android that motherfucker. 19. You know what I'm saying? Android 19 dra grabbing you by the neck, sucking you dry. And you don't even notice it. You know what I'm saying? Then, you, uh, then the next thing you know, you're dead. Yo, you gotta... Uh, guys, if a woman... I'm just gonna fucking say it. I don't care, bro. If a chick isn't fucking you, she's not respecting you. She's not sucking your dick on command. She's not making you food. She's not serving you. She's useless. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> I don't care if we get monetized. If a girl isn't fucking you, sucking your dick, serving you, making you food, keeping the house clean, and upholding her feminine characteristics of what she's supposed to do, kick her to the curb. Because I'm going to tell you this. As a man, I know for a fact you have to bring value to the table to deal with this fucking girl. Nine out of ten times, all she has to do is just bring her looks and some femininity. Okay? And last time I checked, she's going to expect you to deal with that fucking boy or girl when he breaks in. So that bitch better suck some goddamn dick. All right? <laughs> if a girl is doing that bullshit to you, and you guys think it's funny, like when I say, yo, uh, if a girl doesn't let you have sex or whatever, just kick her out, whatever. If she's your girl, she's not giving you sex anymore, you got to kick her out. You got to get rid of her. You need to get rid of her because she doesn't respect you anymore. Okay? The sex is a personification of her respect for you and how much she likes you. Yep. A woman that's low interest and doesn't respect you is going to fucking hurt you, man. You guys get what I'm saying? She's going to hurt you. And when she doesn't respect you, she's going to hurt you in a way that you might not be able to recover from. Because you're already in a place where you've allowed her to disrespect you. You're already invested. You continue to invest more because a lot of guys make that cardinal mistake of thinking, oh, she doesn't like me. Let me just invest more. Let me buy her that bag. Let me take her on this trip. Let me do this. Let me tell y'all niggas something, man. Women is the one thing where you invest more money, more resources, more time, the more you lose. It's not like building on your purpose and focusing on yourself. When you invest in yourself, you win. When you invest in women, you lose. You want to know why? Because women are the one thing that men don't understand because they're what? Ill fucking logical. And I don't care what any angry feminists want to say, whatever it is. It's counterproductive to overinvest in women and it's going to hurt you. So you need to know this. If a chick... Ain't fucking you, sucking you, making you food, whatever it is. Just understand, and you want it, and she tells you no. Just understand that respect is dwindling. She's probably looking at other guys because a woman can't serve two masters. If she loves you, she's going to do everything she can for you. Get ready to kick her to the curb. And you need to be ready to do it at a moment's notice. When women, I'll tell you guys this. Listen to this song. Future. Too comfortable. Okay? Bitch don't get too comfortable. <laughs> when women are comfortable, problems arise. You need her on her fucking toes at all times thinking like, damn, is he going to break up with me? Damn, he's really on his shit. Damn, he made a lot of money. Damn, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. He who cares less in a relationship has the leverage. And you know what? On this podcast, I'm going to tell y'all niggas the uncomfortable truths. Keep your fucking foot on her neck. She needs to know that she could be replaced at any time. And when she, she has that fear that she might lose you, She's going to be on her best behavior, well, Don't baby. physically put your foot on her. Now, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Why do you guys are going to be like, okay, uh, how did you do this? Uh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Don't be. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, Lord. I'm just using it to like, you know, as oh, an Lord. analogy, right? Don't really do that, guys. Don't be, you know what I'm saying? Stupid. But <laughs> what I am saying is that you need to keep the leverage, guys. When you have the leverage in a relationship, I promise you the relationship is going to be better. You're going to get that hypergamy tickle satisfied and she's going to know you are the best that she can get. I need y'all niggas to turn into fucking Gillette. Okay? Okay. The best a girl can get. <laughs> right. All right. So that's really super chats. Oh, Lord. That was a good one. That's some good clips right there. <sighs> okay. Man. So super chats yeah. here. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, le on unknown, unknown legacy. 20 legacy. bucks. Yo, yo we yeah, already got 6,300. Yeah. This nigga just threw his glasses across, across the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we, like, yeah, and, yeah. It is what it is. All right. Uh, we got unknown legacy. You, you got it? Yeah, okay, yeah. I needed the harsh truth to light a fire under me and get that push to do better. And I praise you guys for that push because I was a effing fat ass and needed that direct message. Thank you, Fresh Fit. Exactly. Being fat, it's unacceptable. Uh, $20. Warriors only become warriors by going to war. Mindset work is for becoming powerful, not who might see your power level. That's uh, Abra Kastak 1. Uh, Wad MD, I respect the answer. We must put in the work independent of the results and we get, for, we get from women. See, as Thank men, you. we could talk it out and come to... 
a, an agreement on some level. So exactly. Um, Spotter, uh, knowledge without action is useless. Many men that I also try to help level up are looking for freebies and, and Instagram gratification. Exactly. Living you can at only, McDonald's you can, society. You can only help who wants help. Facts. Bishop fifty dollars. Love the big brother. Tough love. Feeling the passion as a man, you must hold yourself accountable first. God bless the French fit family. Hafiz, realize this chat is chuddy af. Lol. I got very right wing vibe from it, and not the good kind. As in, they will think I'm a lefty for saying this. Just understand, most people are morons. Okay, blind dime. Uh, Nicholas Press twenty dollars. Hafiz, take it easy, man. Peace to the saints, Sazen. Hey, man, he's just very, uh, he's very passionate, man. Hafiz really gives a shit about you guys. Like, I don't think yeah. you guys understand behind the scenes, man. Most people don't. <laughs> you guys, yeah, you guys don't, man. Um, uh, TH, men have always been sacrificed to history. The current female first narrative is just the latest take, exactly. And this become mentally and physically stronger. Read books, lift the steel, prepare for and embrace the hard journey, fresh to fit. And then Freudian slip. Uh, yep, okay, we read, we read all those. Cool. Uh, we're good, we're good. Okay, so guys. Where can they find you? Oh, there's more? Yeah. Oh, oh, we got Andrea Smith, a lady in the, oh. in the chat. 50 bucks. I love that you guys are stating facts. No girl should ever date, hate on this podcast. I'm definitely sharing this podcast with my, my brothers. Keep speaking the uncomfortable truth. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Um, cool. We're good. Yeah, share this podcast with, you know, any guys out there that are going through some tough times because this is important stuff. This is a very important episode. Like I said, now you guys know why we didn't have the women in. I know some of you guys were disappointed at the beginning. Where are the girls? Where are the girls? Oh, my God. Where are the girls? It's a waste of episode. Bro, yeah, this man. is the best episode yet. Women are a luxury yep. that comes in at the end of the race, guys. Women, yep. w- There's a reason why women wait at the finish line and pick the winners, guys. There's a reason. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So where can they find y'all? Yeah. Or any last thoughts or anything? No. Um. For me, um, they can find us. Just go on YouTube, type in The Roommates. Um, patreon.com slash the roommates is where we have all of our level up courses, you know, um, fitness, finance, identity, character, all that good stuff. And so for me, the, the goal is just to see men win. You know, I, I think that's my goal. That's my heartbeat. Um, I try my best to share what I know. Um, I try my best to share what I've looked up. And at times, if if there's things that I've shared or study or data that numbers, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But a lot of times I, I, I don't, I don't throw numbers out there that I haven't looked at the data for. And so to me, it's something in which it's not, it's nothing. This is not an emotional um, logic. This is, this is logic. You can look everything. I look, everything I've communicated, you can look this up. Um, everything um, that we believe we, 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 we believe it. To help men and so you know the goal is to help men and the ones that want to help are going to be helped and they're going to win and the ones that are going to want to complain they can complain they're going to lose so that's just my message and appreciate everybody who wants to be helped and we love you guys we do we do this for you awesome yeah man that's Very that's true. basically it man you know we, we're all about leveling up creating high character high value men you know so that that comes with the good bad and the ugly in order to grow you have to really go deep and a lot of people don't want to go deep because it's too hard. That's what she said. <laughs> nah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, I think that's something that, you know, if these guys want this kind of lifestyle and want to level up and want, you know, whatever out of, they want out of that 1% lifestyle, mm-hmm. you have to put in 1% work. Facts. You know, so you have to get in the game. And we are giving you all, you know, the tools. You know, we're, we're traveling. We're trying to, you know, bring in the, the guys that know more than us in certain topics so we can give you all the game. You know, we're doing the research and we're we're teaching as well. So all you have to do is just apply it. Mm-hmm. You know, so you ain't gotta you ain't gotta do the work like we do. Like you literally all you have to do is watch and apply and just go through it and go through the emotion, read the books we tell you to read, you know, take the courses, do all those things. It's all there for you to help. You know, so it's it's literally giving you the answer to the test. I can't make you complete the test. But don't complain if you don't if you don't pass the test of life. Right. Yeah. We gave you the answers. So and the chat is saying this is the best episode yet. Thank you guys so much. Um, guys, I mean, they're the roommates. We're fresh and fit. All their links are below. Make sure to click. I made sure to tag them on the YouTube thing. Click and subscribe to their channel, man. Yep. They make fantastic content. As a matter of fact, a lot of the content that we make was inspired by them. I'm not even gonna lie. Thank you guys for being I a great inspiration. Yeah, no uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so uh, just see- fifty dollars. Good gracious, I accidentally snapped her neck. You need to talk faster. Oh, damn this it. Guy, See man. what I'm saying? Dog? He oh, really gave me the foot on the neck, dog. He oh, can't God. do it. God. JC Van, 20, 20 bucks. I got destroyed by a 30-year-old woman when I was 22. When I realized my low value, I tried to end myself. I knew that I had to change. Thank you for your content. Yeah. 
And guys, gotcha, do man. me a favor, man. Uh, higher image status, twenty dollars. Some quick uh, ducats. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. There's anyone out there that's going through something, man. Share this video with them. Yep. Man. Uh, facts, Myron, the principle of least interest person or group that has the least amount of interest in continuing a relationship has the most power exactly over it. Um, yeah, exactly. And then, um, and then over those best by far, no words, words can explain the importance of this conversation. Shout out from Atlanta to the roommates. Thank you so there much. You Overdose. Just make sure not to react to this with some bimbos because they will get triggered. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, you probably want to get a good reaction. Go ahead and do it. Doctor, eat 20 bucks. Yo, 26, 160K, homeowner. Definitely get more girls than I did back when I was broke, bro. Just straight facts. Like you have said, a broke man is like a fat woman. Fresh effect, keeping it real. You have to sabe. You already know. All right. Cool. Um, so, uh, all okay, right. so all right, guys. Um, with that said, we're gonna be going to Vegas uh, tomorrow yes. for Donovan's uh, conference CME. Yeah, com- so we, yeah. So we won't do a show this weekend. We'll be back on Monday. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna be in Vegas, guys. I'm gonna speak on Saturday, and uh, yeah, shout out to Donovan Sharp and guys. Please subscribe to the roommates. Okay, follow them on Instagram. The roommate, uh, ru- the roommates HTX, right? Yep. Oh uh, no, on Instagram is just roommates, roommates HTX. Roommates right. HTX, and then also get on their Patreon, patreoncom slash the roommates. The roommates Boom. with their links are all below, and fantastic content from them, guys. Um, yeah, this was a very important topic, man. I follow Myron, unplug fit two T's. Follow me, Freshman CEO. Follow Trade Talk Sports, and Chris isn't here today, but follow him, Aaron C. Parkson, and then follow my vlog channel, man. You want to see behind the scenes some of this convo <laughs> dates behind the scenes of Myron Games as well. Me training with him eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Follow me. Instagram. And, and the last thing I want to say, I've said this a few times, but I want to say it one more time. I want to leave you guys with this. Share this video, guys, with someone that's going through it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have the timestamp so you can, like, you know, give it to them with the timestamp so they don't have to watch the whole video. Mm-hmm. And let them know that there is light at the end of the tunnel, man. You know what I'm saying? We're here for you. You know what I'm saying? We have communities. You know what I'm saying? And fuck, man. Like, do not hurt yourself over some stuff. That isn't worth it, man. Back in the day, you didn't have these platforms. Now you do. The roommates, fresh and fit. You know where to come, guys. Yeah, man. So uh, thank you guys so much, man. We're going to end the show there. Uh, Trey, if you can uh, <laughs> sit down, Trey. Yeah, <laughs> end the doing show, Trey. Days, man. God dang, Trey. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much. We'll catch you Monday. On Monday. Peace. Peace.